Came a little late. I was coming to, I was going to have Bernie dance for that last part there, but I came a little late. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Well, here's, <laughs> I want her to dance for the chorus. I was waiting for her to finish getting a little drink, which, uh, then I turned her sideways and she wasn't crazy about that. So sorry about that, sweetheart. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Hello, piggy big ones. Hello. Welcome, guys. Welcome to another uh, Nico Bizzo Live Sizzle. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Bernie's like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Screw you, daddy. I was going to ever come in and dance for the choir. That fucking badass theme. Jesus Christ. Thirsty Sentinel's music, man. Let's get some more music. Ah, but I hope you guys had a good week. Um... Yes, we're going to be checking out uh, Little Nightmares 2 tonight. Uh, it's funny, I checked to see when was the last time I actually played the first game. Oh, fuck me. No. What have you done, hey, Fando? No. No. Ah. Jesus Christ, dude. What the fuck, hey, fan? What the fuck? Why would you do that? Why don't you just murder so many penguins? I think we have that crazy penguin emote now <laughs> for just such occasions. Uh, I'm not sorry. God damn it. So much bloodshed for, for what reason? For what purpose? Only to satiate his, <laughs> his dark desires. Jesus, a fan. Somebody's, somebody's pissed. A fan's like, I had a bad week. I'm gonna blow everybody the fuck up. Eat shit, bitch. Uh, thank you, AA fan. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for killing 20 poor penguins in my chat with a nuke of love. Uh, uh, Gester, thank you for the, the gift sub as well. Uh, the Serpan, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome aboard, man. Uh, but yeah, so we're checking out Little Nightmares 2. Uh, and I checked the last time I played this game. Uh, the first game was actually four years ago. It was back in 2017. It's been a while. I was like, fuck, it's been that long? Shit. So I realize I've been, I've actually been live streaming for quite a while, a lot longer than I, I mean, I haven't been partnered for, I mean, for no more than just like, you know, we just broke like two years, right? But, uh, uh, haven't actually been, I've actually been live streaming a lot longer than that. So dumb, uh, dumb fabric, maybe like 25 months, dude. And I uh, guess for another gift sub. Thank you, man. <laughs> You okay, sweetheart? You okay? I'm sorry. I got you all worked up, didn't I? I'm sorry. You okay? She's just carrying her bone around, which is what she does when she's sort of awake now. I know. I didn't even. I didn't even get to do anything, right? We didn't even get to dance to the song because we got to the end of it before I got back. She's like, I'm mad at you, Daddy. <laughs> in here with us, Sabine. You guys can see it. Oh, oh, there she goes again. She's walking around with her bone. Is Bernie angry? Maybe a little bit. She's, I think she's just a, a little bit awake now. Wait, here she comes. She's coming back. Are you in bed? Oh, you can look around the camera. You're on the right side. Yeah, I know you're making loops around, huh? Come back. No talk, me angry. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> she got her bone and she's about to set it down, I think. Yes, you got that bone. You do, you got that bone. Yes. <laughs> I swear to God, that thing's looking at me. <laughs> She's thinking about it. She's gonna think about gently setting her bone down on the edge of her bed, just like she always does. And it better be there when she wakes up or she's like, she's all pissed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see you. I do, I see you burning. 
Oh, there she goes. <laughs> She's put it down. <laughs> this little animal. No, oh, wait, wait, she picked it back up. She's so funny. Yes, I see you. Hello, are you doing okay? Are you grumpy of me? A little bit grumpy of me. I'm sorry. Sorry for letting you get a drink and then shaking you around like that. I know. Yeah, you should be. She's on guard. That's right. Oh, well, there she goes again. <laughs> gonna do a little loop for a bit until she tires herself out she munch um but yeah so little nightmares 2 uh i've heard this one's uh also quite good i've heard this one's actually a bit longer than the first one which i remember the first one being quite short uh which is good though i, I think i can still probably beat it in a single stream like the uh, little nightmares one was like I think it said how long to beat it was about three and a half hours. And I think that's about how long it took me. And this was just be like on average, like five to five and a half hours. So, uh, thanks for the hype train guys. Um, so, uh, yeah, but it's got good reviews. Uh, it looks pretty and I'm kind of curious to see where the story goes. Cause I remember the last time when we ended the story of the first game, it was basically like six becoming like a God. <laughs> if I remember correctly, six, like gets like demon powers and just starts murdering everybody here right like is that what she ends up happening she like absorbs the power of like the crazy lady or something and in the end she like just murders everybody on her way out she's like whoosh whoosh or something like that like just fucking everybody up i was like shit okay cool cool dope the dlc is important for the first game is it is it really that important i never actually did check out the dlc DLC doesn't have much. I saw that the DLC, like, each DLC was about one hour long. I was like, shit, that is some short ass DLC. Yeah, she ate her. She becomes Shang Tsung. Yeah, she's pretty much. Yeah, it goes full Sith Lord, pretty much. Just like, just, just fucking slays everybody. It was a pretty ass game, I remember. Like, disturbingly pretty. Like, it, it really felt like, you know what it felt like? It felt like I was a, playing a Tim, Bur a Tim Burton movie. It really felt that way. Like, game oozes Tim Burton-like creepiness. There was a mobile game, really? Littlest Nightmares? I didn't know that. That's cool. But without any dialogue, true. Without any talking. So, uh, yeah. So I'll look forward to that. Um, it's always just kind of nice too when you're like, I know I can finish this game in a stream. <laughs> That's always kind of a nice feeling, you know? I don't know. It's like, sometimes it's just like, when you're like, I, I know that like by the end of this, this game is going to be complete. Because sometimes I'm like, I really try to crank it out and see if I can finish it. And it's like, some games are like right on the edge, you know? Some of those Zero, uh, Mega Man Zero games were like that, where I was like, it was like teetering on the edge, where it always ended up going for like 10 hours or something. Which, speaking of which, I gotta get, I gotta finish Zero 4 at some point. That's something else I gotta do. I also, I also do want to still check out the Virgil DLC for, uh, for Devil May Cry. And actually, pro I probably want to play it on Dark Knight mode, so the PS5 version. Um, because that sounds like it'd be pretty fun. I haven't mean to do that, but I just, uh, I ain't got around to it yet. Are we analyzing today? I just thought it was like, this is kind of good chill music. I was actually looking through the, there's so many songs in the 13th Sentinel soundtrack, like way more than I realized. And I was thinking, well, maybe like, I couldn't actually find this song. I was like, is this song not in here? No, it's in there. It's just like in the, it's like dead in the middle for some reason. It's called a uh, voyage to tomorrow, I believe. Yeah. Did I buy? I haven't. I haven't bought the OST though. I probably should. What is it, huh? You all cranky? She's. I think she's fussing at me. I think. Hold on. I'm gonna sit here and look at you guys, and pretend I'm not. 
Yeah, she's faster than me. I can't hear her unless I take my headphones off. Can you guys hear that? Tell me if you can hear it. Sweetheart. Oh, goodness. Aren't you a big fussy baby? Bernie extra angy. Okay. Sorry, I gotta go hang out with... I must go hang out with my dog for a second. I, sorry. She's... She got a little wake. This is one of those nights where she's a little bit awake. So I'm going to sit with her for a second and hold the bone. Just give me a couple of minutes. Here, I'll put on some some nice music and you guys can join me. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I see you. Hello. Goodness. Let's go put some music on. Uh, I'll go with this one. All right. <sighs> All right. Give me a second. Switch to the other camera. Okay, goodness.
Okay, sorry. I don't know if you guys can hear anything I'm saying. <laughs> this microphone cuts out a lot of uh, ambient noise, so, uh, if you could, okay, cool. I'm alive. Yes. Bray just likes to sit on top of me and chew her bone sometimes. Okay, she's getting in the bed. See so she stays there. We could a little bit. Music, yeah, music probably overpowered me. This this microphone has like uh, cuts off ambient sound, so if I'm like too far away, it's just not, it might not pick me up at all. So, ah, uh, okay, good. I think she's hopefully calming down now. Sorry. Like I said, it could be a bit of a coin toss. Most of the time, lately, she's actually been pretty good and just goes right to sleep, but... Um, especially if I end up, like... If we're, like, watching TV or something, which is what we usually do before I, like, start streaming, you know? She's, like, in her nice comfy spot uh, on the ottoman. She gets kind of hot and bothered when she's... You gotta move again. What is she doing? Man, nice to loop again. Just being herself. Yes. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Come on, man. I held your bone for you. Come on. It's time. Come on. Get it. Get your little tuffet. Time to wrap up. Okay. okay. Uh, the true reactor blast. There's a tier one, buddy. Uh,. How goes it for me this weekend? Good, good. I uh, I, I tried out, by the way, the uh, Guilty Gear Strive beta. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was really good. I, uh, it actually sort of convinced me now. I actually want to actually invested in a uh, a hitbox. You know, the, the button arcade stick. Uh, it's something that I've been considering doing, but there was never a fighting game that I felt like a real need to do it. Um, the one thing I sort of realized by playing the Guilty Gear Strive beta on PS5, it's really fucking hard to do uh the motions on this d-pad it is stupidly hard the d-pad on the it's actually kind of made me realize the P5, ps5 d-pad's like probably the weakest part of the controller the controller's really nice it's got amazing uh you know haptic feedback and the vibrations and everything feel good joysticks are fine the face buttons are fine touchpad's fine the feel of it is fine the d-pad isn't super great though i think the d-pad's a little bit like a it's just a little hard to, uh, like the buttons don't press in very hard. They're not as clicky like, uh, like the PS4 was. Um, and so, so it's actually really hard to do like, uh, semi half circle or quarter circle motions on it. Uh, or the hardest, like, God, the, the one when you're trying to do like the special on that game, which is like half circle back and then forward. It's like a pie. Like I couldn't do it. I could not get it on my fucking PS5 controller. Um, so yeah, I, I, I thought I'd invest in a hitbox and try, try to actually play with that. Maybe just make it sort of like my current chill game um, for a while, just to try to grind it out. And I mean, I know that a hitbox is like, I haven't really messed too much with arcade sticks in general. Um, so it's gonna be sort of a new, uh, learning a new uh, tool set, but I thought it'd be kind of good. And I thought hitbox, I mean, I've, I played Dota, right? And that's all keyboard and mouse. So I'm used to like hotkeying things, so. Um, that might be kind of fun. Um. Oh, yes. Are you finally calming down? I think she's starting to chill now. Uh, but yeah, it's good. The The net code in that game is fucking great. All right? It's super good. Like, holy crap. It's uh, impressive how good it is. Unfortunately, the, the matchmaking system in the lobbies are not good. They're very archaic and kind of dumb and needlessly, like, complicated, confusing. But the game itself was fun and the net code's good, so it kind of made me go, you know what? I kind of want to try and maybe be relatively decent in this game. I played Ramlethal, by the way. Uh, I, I liked her. I thought she was kind of cool. And she's cute, which is a good, which is always a plus. Um, she's pretty good though. Uh, but again, it's like, I was just really struggling. Like I just couldn't get the damn like motions on my D-pad. So, uh, thank Ramlethal.
Dr. Elfelt. I don't think that's... They're not in the game, though, right? At least not yet. Actually, I think tonight they're supposed to announce the um, upcoming character for, for Guilty Gear... Guilty, yeah, the final character for Guilty Gear, Guilty Gear Strive. Um, they're having like a round table, uh, fighting game round table, and I'm sure Max is probably gonna cover that. So that'd be cool. Oh, we got leaked, really? Well, don't tell me. I was gonna, I was, I was waiting to find out. I mean, to, to be perfectly frank, I don't really know any of the Guilty Gear characters like at all. Like this is the first Guilty Gear game I've ever played. Um, so it's not like. I guess if I even knew the name, it wouldn't really matter that much to me, but I'd rather be surprised. It's more, I would rather see Max's reaction and be sort of surprised when I see that, so. Yeah, I don't know like any of the, I don't know any of the characters. All I know is that he wants Biken to show up, so that makes me, that makes me want Biken in there. But if, it, if it's somebody else, I mean, it doesn't make a difference to me. Unless it's like some, unless it's like a guest character, or like some crazy guest character, like fucking Goku shows up. Then it's like, what the fuck, you know? But yeah, the animation's great. It's super good. Um, yeah, I recommend it. If you like fighting games and, uh, and I'm just, I'm honestly a pretty casual fighting game guy. Like even like the problem, my fighting game would be Virtual Fighter, Virtual Fighter 4 specifically, because that's the game that I played the most. Um, the fighting game I played the most. And I had a lot of fun with that game. That game had a lot of fun, honestly, single player content where you just like unlock shit, uh, for your character to, to spice them up, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, so I think I might mess around a bit with uh, Guilty Gear Strive. Oh, there you go. That's a good girl. She's settling down. She put her bone down. She's looking tired. She's about to rest her big old noggin on the side of her bed. She's trying to stay awake. She's like, no, I'm a big girl. I don't need to sleep. See your eyes getting heavy. Whoops. <laughs> I disappear for it. Hey guys, look, I'm gone. <laughs> that was a fake background for the Halloween thing I did before. I clicked the wrong thing. I was like, I was like, where the fuck did I go? Oh, <laughs> I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> I forgot I had that there. I was like, I was like, what's happening? My camera fuck up. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I, uh, I am looking forward to, uh, the full release of the game. The only downside is, uh, and it's something I sort of learned. I haven't, I haven't gotten the hitbox by the way, so it's to come in like a couple of days. Uh, I, uh, I can't actually use that, uh, that fight stick on a PS5. I have to, I can only use it on a, I can use it on the, uh, on a PS5 playing a PS4 game, but I can't use it on a PS5 game. And I realized that there's actually two versions of Guilty Gear Strive. There is actually a PS4 specific version and a PS5 specific version. Um, so I'd have to play the PS4 version on my PS5. So I have to refund the uh, the PS5 one I had pre-ordered and now I gotta buy the PS4 one, which is, is okay. I don't think it's actually gonna look any different really. I think the PS4 version or PS5 version probably says like, you can probably play in a 4K, but I don't even have a 4K monitor anyway, so. Sorry, I was just an illusion. I was never here to begin with. <laughs> Get a cool fade out. Uh, Starboard, am I going to leave the 100 bits? Yeah, no, I, I will, man. I, 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 I always get to everybody's, but it, it might just take me a second. So, patience. I, I just, I usually will, like, talk for a bit, and then I'll read everybody's stuff. So, don't worry. I'll see it. Uh, Peggy Star, I think the 100 bits. And you go, hope you're doing well. I got a Ring Fit Adventure a couple of weeks ago and having fun with it. Also, I usually watch some of your LPs on and off because I'm busy with other things, but I hope you don't mind that I can't watch your Memorial LP to keep my mental health safe. Hope you have a good night. Oh, of course. Yeah, no, I get that. That's why they had a big warning at the start of it, right? They're like, hey, if you're not in a great place, this may not be the game to play, <laughs> um, which I think is good. Uh, but I'm liking it so far. It's cool. It's uh. It's definitely quirky. It's got that quirky earthboundy feel. Let's be honest. It's like it's very necessary for any earthbound game to be quirky. It feels like. Oh my god. CWI Zuby. They were like 10 gift subs, dude. Just, gotta just chuck that love grenade in there. Boom. Fuck. Ah! <laughs> uh, thank you, dude. Holy shit. Thank you. That's uh 
incredibly nice and incredibly deadly of you. So much murder. You know, so I was thinking another emote that I think I want to get Bobby to do is a, uh, I think I brought, I brought this up to you guys before is a penguin with a army helmet, but doing a salute. I'm thinking probably like the Nico B07 or something. Uh, I think we could, I mean, it worked well for these instances, obviously, but it also just work well, I think in general, you know, <laughs> F's in the chat in a way. Although I guess I know we technically have a dead emote, but this is like, you know, F's to pay respect, you know, the 07. Yeah. I think it might be a pretty good one. You're watching Council of Voices Part 8? Yeah, everyone's excitement about that really has made me want to, like, work on the next part. At least start, start working on it. I've been thinking about it a lot. Uh... Is the whole trigger thing spamming the heat action? I believe you have actually pressed it harder on the PS5 controller because the PS5s have adaptive triggers which are more stiff to the PS4 triggers. Yeah. Yeah, I've no. I was like, I was like, man, I am like really pressing the fuck out of this. I cannot get it to come out. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll figure it out. You know, the problem is you have a limited amount of time. That's what really kind of sucks. It's like Jesus Christ. Uh, clearly not. I just kind of wish that the developers had thought to switch to like a different button, you know? It's like, fucking hell, why did it be a damn, the damn R2 button? Uh, Starboard Michael, thank you. Uh, Mr. Nicest Pop, uh, someone was, who I think you should skip out on Sakurai's eventual pr presentation. Oh, I know, I know. I, I wasn't. Yeah, I'm sure Sakurai is going to do a presentation of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm probably not going to stream that one or watch it because I think it's going to be pretty spoilery, honestly. So, and like I said, I do plan to play it at some point. Hey, sweetheart, doing okay? Getting ready to crash? Yeah, I know, I'm tired. Um... So I'll probably skip. I'll probably pass on that one, but uh, I'm sure it'll be enjoyable. I mean, I actually find I actually find those uh, the streams where he talks about like what he decided to do with the character and his like thoughts about it. I don't know. I just find it very interesting. So I'm gonna be a little bummed that I I have to miss it, but I think it's probably better. I mean, to be honest, right? I mean, there was a big spoiler in in there still is in Shulk's Ultimate Smash. So you know. I don't think he gives a shit. <laughs> He's just like, well, by the way, if you haven't played it yet, fuck you. <laughs> so. Uh, Reactor Blast thinks 100 bits. Oh, damn, you live down in Texas. We're finally happy to meet you and, and say hi, hi after all these years. I found you during your first Ace Attorney playthrough, and it's nice to finally be a part of your community. Hey, thank you, buddy. I hope you guys are doing okay down there. Yeah, it, all, any of my texts and pick ones, I hope you guys are hanging in there. I'm really sorry about a uh, whole predicament. Fucking weather and the damn power outages. I'm gonna boil snow. It's like, fuck. Uh, I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, god damn. Yeah, seriously, it's been, it's been rough down there in Texas. Uh, but stay safe, man. Uh, thank you for joining us this evening. Flyer Soul, thank you for the 100 bits. He has rewards you can't miss. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I, I found it strange that he was he was there and there was no icon or any indication that he was there. I was like, that's why I was also shocked to see him there. Oh, the old that old guy is actually one of the required sub stories, really, or one, one of the extra quests or something. Okay. And the others thing you haven't got to yet. Okay. The game is all, doesn't mention, never mentions this at any point. I'll tell you more on what to do when you get there. Okay. So I have to do it at some point. All right. Good to know. Uh, Lee C or Lee say, thank you for the uh, two months, two months. And it feels good. <laughs> Kiriyama, thank you for the 10 months. Guess her for the hundred bits. Oh, is it a remix album? I didn't realize there was a remix album. 
It has a new Miyuki Inaba song on it called Stellar Memories. There's previews of every track on ba Bass Escapes at website. Dope. That's awesome. I had no idea. That's sick. Shit. I check that out then later. I saw the I saw the album artwork. The album artwork was awesome. Showed everybody's uh, 2188 versions. I was like, damn. It made me when seeing that. You know what it made me really want to see was like a prequel story that like really went to detail about all the shit that went down in 2188. I'm like fuck, man. <laughs> I li I liked when somebody said that to George Kamatani in that Q and A, and he was like, he was like, it's like, would, you think there's any point? Would you like to make a uh, a prequel story in 2088 version one? He's like, that sounds awesome. Would anyone be willing to make it? <laughs> Can I play it after you after you finish it? I'm like, that means he's like, ah, oh, fuck, dude. He's like, I, we don't get paid enough in Vanillaware, right? There's like 30 of us. <laughs> he's like, it's not going to happen. That's why if you still haven't bought 13 Central Siege's Rim, buy it. Do it. You're doing it right the fuck now. Buy it. Buy 13 Sentinels. Buy it right now. Do it. It's amazing. It'll change your life. Do it right now. Do it so we can get that fucking prequel story. Do it right the fuck now. Do it. Do it. Buy 13 Sentinels. Listen to this music. It's very close to my teeth. Do it. <laughs> okay, I'll spend all my money. Please stop. Please. God. <laughs> Sorry. You're not my dad. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> Plot twist. Turns out that YouTuber guy I was watching all the all these years was in fact my father. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Uh it's really good. Seriously, I, I like there's not many games that would be like, yeah, I, I, like, I can guarantee you're going to love it. I'd be like, eh, you might not like it. If you like anime, you like science fiction, or you like RPGs, you like any of those, you're going to love the game. Yeah. Oh, my God, man. That's why, why do you think I keep listening to the music here? Can't stop thinking about the dumb game. Uh, Damien, like, that's a year, dude. Resub time. Today's, the wor today's word of the day is arcade, which also means a small outdoor area of tightly packed shops. So, Yakuza 3... Oh, Yakuza 3 is actually trying to tell you to search the shopping district, not a f building full of video games. Thanks, man. That's all. <laughs> I appreciate it. I actually really appreciate that. I did learn something today. I actually did not know that. I did not realize that that was another definition of that. Good to know. <laughs> I probably should have, but I didn't. Uh, Starboard Michael, uh, thank you again. The advisor, thank you for the 23 months. NC King, thank you for the five dollars. Uh, hey Nico, two things apparently. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of Chronicle Gaming insiders are confident both Wind Waker and Twilight Princess will be ported over to the Switch later this year. Uh, FYI, also react to this funny Yakuza video. What is this? Is it long? Video unavailable. Yeah, I have a feeling you probably only sent me part of the link, but that's all right. I probably, but I'll check it out later. <laughs> um, that's good. That's good to hear. Uh, I, th I think I did see murmurings about that. So it does seem weird to me. Like it just seems weird they haven't done it yet, right? Like some of their biggest things and uh, and that are exclusive to the Wii U, the most undersell sold like Nintendo console ever. So it just seems weird that it's like, like if I were those guys, the first thing I would have done was port that shit over. It's like fuck. So. It's just slow, man. It feels like they're so slow, especially lately. And I don't even mean if necessarily because of COVID. I just feel like they're just sitting on their big old pile of Animal Crossing bucks. Like, doing angels like, Ah, life is good. I don't have to do dick. <laughs> I actually kind of laugh just seeing uh, Aonuma come out and be like, uh, It's like, hey, I bet y'all are what, dying to hear about that Breath of the Wild 2 game. Well, guess again, bitch. I I saw a uh, video game donkey do a video where he like talked about that. I knew it. I knew the moment he got to that part of the video, he was gonna do exa exactly what I was thinking, which was like he's gonna just have him say that and then just pause it there, and then the video ends. <laughs> he's like, unfortunately we unfortunately we have nothing to show for you. Thank you for your patience, and then just pauses there on his face. 
and then it cuts to black. <laughs> I was like, yep, that's perfect. That's, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Uh, Rogue, thank you. There's the 500 bits. Day 15 of Miyushi Morning. Uh, I hope you're still considering playing Monster Camp with mods because recently they've had a lot of new content in DLC, including all uh, alt playable characters. If you ever get around to on stream, I'll gift you the, that particular DLC. For now, I need to shop for the ingredients to bring Miyushi back to life through alchemy. <laughs> Should cost about an arm and a leg. Uh, thank you, bud. Appreciate it. Uh, yes. Nothing like destroying my destroying my fans' hearts. <laughs> They're my crazy fan fictions. Uh, Starboard Michael, thank you for the 16 months. Uh, question, will you play or at least watch the Lace Kingdom Hearts game? Plus, if you don't, uh, if you ever read fan fiction to your views, I'd like to you to read, you read us Sword at Kingdom on fictionmystery.net. You'll love and everyone else too. Uh, thank you, man. Um, will I, I mean, maybe at some point. Yeah, I'm just not in a huge rush. I've heard it's not that substantial. I've heard that I think there is a little bit of something in there, but... I mean, one thing is like, I can't let's play the game, right? If you think I can, I can't. I can't do that. I can't stream it. And that's because all the songs in the game are copyrighted. Because that's kind of what happens with a lot of these rhythm games. Is that a lot of times they take the music that's in there. And whether they be remixes or even just the same fucking songs. And they get fucking copyrighted to hell and back, you know? Unless you're playing it with like, you know, battles happening. Or you're running around a town. You're playing the game. If it's just like a game where you're literally just hitting buttons and the music's playing in the background, a lot of times that's like, that's like the line for a lot of these developers. And they're like, nah, we're not cool with that. So, yeah. So I, I can't, I can't let's play it anyway. So <laughs> not that I really wanted to, uh, to begin with. Like I said, rhythm games just aren't really my thing. Uh, Omi Rolex, uh, thanks for the 16 months. Uh, time surely does fly fast, doesn't it? I've almost got my submission for the Arcan test done, then I'll be straight back to school work after a week off. Uh, pray for me, Penguins. Hey, thank you, man. Look forward to seeing it. Yeah, thanks to everybody who's been, uh, submitting to that so far. Uh, I think we have so far about, like, 32 submissions. So, uh, we still have about, uh, about three weeks left, so. Uh, yes. Uh, look forward to seeing what else you guys come up with. Uh, AA fan, thank you for the five. Hey, Nico, uh, played the triangle strategy demo. It was really good. Only thing I was a little iffy on was the voice acting, but consider it probably still early. I, I have hope they'll go over it again for the official release. You know, it's funny. I, I thought about that too when I heard the trailer. I was like, the voice acting's a little, there's a little hit or miss there. There was like a few lines where I was like, that sounded a little not great. <laughs> I know that was supposed to sound super serious, but it sounded a little weak. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I hope it ends up being good. It, I mean, it looked beautiful, just like the Octopath Traveler. <laughs> Triangle Traveler, that's what they're going to call it. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> I hope they don't, hope they don't keep it. Tri Triangle Strategy. The greatest, greatest game name ever. This game all about geometry. Uh, Orange Rain, thank you for the four months. Glad to be here. Cold and picky. Thank you, man. Pokey Emblem for the uh, five gift subs again. Thank you, buddy. Gaster for the 100 bits. I listen to Edge of the Future almost religious ever since being the game. Have you heard any, heard any of the battle music exclusive to the post-game battles? Are they exclusive? I did play a little bit of some of the post-game battles. Were there new songs in there? I don't know if I even noticed. Like there are only like only ones that play there. I I, I didn't realize. That's that's pretty cool. I kind of figured it'd just be the same music. Um. Nice attack, yelling with the year. Always love your content, have fun, and don't piss yourself. <laughs> thank you. I'll do my best. Uh, TC, uh, TC Toaster, thank you for the Prime Sub. Welcome aboard. Dragon, thank you for the 10 months, dude. What a lovely nine months I've been here at tier two. At, at, at tier two, even. Uh, looks back at the mountain of a thousand gravestones on it. Good times indeed, yes. You've actually, I think you can now probably have the, uh, the special, uh, well, actually, you probably can't see because you're currently in, like, number two on the gift sub thing. But when you actually get to see it, you'll have, like, they have, like, you know, gift sub uh, badges, right? It was actually something I was thinking about. I was hoping that they would let you change it so you can make it something different. But they actually don't, which kind of sucks. You can do it to uh, the bits badge. So, like, how many bits you, like, donate, you can change to that one, which I haven't really fucked around with. But I was hoping to let you do the gift sub one, too. But right now, it's just ba basically varying colors of... Uh, of gift. <laughs> uh, maybe they will in the future, though. I, I think it'd be kind of cool. 
Yeah, I have not played Alan Wake, no. That was on a, a poll, I think, a while back. Um, I always meant to sort of check it out. That's a 360. Yeah, that's an old game. That's old at this point. Um, thank you again, though, Dragon. Holy shit. Thank you for the insane fucking support over these past few months. Chance, thank you for the uh, four four months. Uh, despair's favorite of the five months. Oh, boy, almost half a year. Uh, the true reactor blast, I think the 100 bits. <laughs> kind of nervous being in my presence. You don't need, seriously, you don't need to be. <laughs> you do not need to be. I'm, I'm just, I'm a person just like you. That's it. That's, that's all. All right. It's, it is funny how that kind of works. Cause I, I feel, I feel you in that way. Like where you're like, if you follow someone for like a really extended period of time and then you get a chance to interact with them in some way, it can be a little like daunting. I felt the same way actually when I got to meet Max for the first time when I actually like, like I, I communicate with him a little bit like through uh, uh, just the chat, you know, and I, when I was like, I'd brought up to him, I was like, hey, do you want me to make some uh, moat badges for you or whatever? And he's like, oh, okay, you know, so I did that. Uh, but then I actually got to play a game with him of Call of Duty. And that first time I did that, I was nervous as fuck. I was so nervous. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> like, what do I do? Um, and then after like that first game and like any other times, I don't know, it's just, it became less and less nerve wracking. Now I'm just like, if he wants to, you know, if I play a game with him or something, I'm, it's just not really a big deal anymore. But it's just kind of funny how like, but the first time is always just like, what the fuck? My mods, that's sort of similar thing. Actually, they were actually talking about that to me the other day where they were like, the first time meeting me was kind of like, like, oh, like, I hate to say starstruck. Cause I'm not a fucking star. Right? I'm just some dork. <laughs> some dude talking to his, talking to his camera. Uh, what was it that Jack, Jack's films, that song he wrote? He's like, we're all just assholes talking to a camera. <laughs> uh, but, uh, pretty much. So anyway, don't be scared. Don't bite. Just, just, a, just normal dork. Uh, thank you, dude. Station Square for the uh, 250 bits. Got a Mori on Steam. Thanks to the LP. Awesome. Bit ahead of you, and the game just got gets better and better. Yeah, at first it it's I'm enjoying it so far. Can we see where it goes? Red Jive. That's 17 months, dude. Um, a meme loving chef. Think of the six dollars. Hey Nico, I've recently rewatched all the Council Voices research. For my Gundam X Miuri fanfiction. Awesome. And it's amazing how far the series has come. Can't wait to see what happens next. And hope you don't end up dying too much this stream. Thank you, bud. Yes, I, I, I do have my death counter, by the way. I do remember dying quite a bit in the last one. So, got to bring the death counter. NC King for the uh, dollar. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, God damn it. It's actually the actual. Okay. We, we got to watch this. This is actually the actual actor for Kuze. I've seen so many Kuze memes lately. So many Kuze memes. Here we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dope. That's right, death counter. Dead. See, so many Kuzi memes. You know what the reason why the Kuzi meme works is not for the fact that you fight him like a hundred times in that game. It's also just the fact that his theme, his battle theme is so good. <laughs> He is easily the best battle theme in the whole game. It's so dope. It's like shit. Yeah, blood pledge of a demon. It's still the best. Honestly, it's still the best battle theme in all of Yakuza, in my opinion. Except, except for maybe the uh, the uh, Curious remix theme of uh. uh What's this? What's his theme again? His like dragon of Dojima theme. This is the one. The one they play right at the end too. Like right at the end of Yakuza Zero, they play it, where he finally meets Majima, and he's hey, oh, get it, John. What's that? What's that? Receive you. That's it. And 
Hey, oh. Get it, John. Damn. It's funny. It, you know what? That that ending hits me a lot harder once I know like the relationship later. Cause I feel like that was sort of like like going back and rewatching that. I'm like, this ending is ending is awesome, and I liked it. But I and they, when I first played it, but I I didn't love it because I was like, what the fuck? Like they just kind of blue ball me, right? Like I feel like I I'm like oh he says hi to him. That's it. Fuck you. <laughs> but then we get three games of them just like doing shit together. So. I mean, the, the game sort of was going off the idea like, yeah, you know who Majima is and his interaction. I was kind of in a unusual state where, or a usual uh, perspective where I didn't know who Majima was. I didn't know it was weird to see him acting normal as a server in a uh, nightclub, you know? But yeah, <laughs> Kusei everywhere. So that really is in that game. Uh. Right job, thank you the 500 bits, man. I've been trying to get my friends to check out your videos. What would you say is your quintessential playthrough to hook new viewers? Probably Danganronpa. I mean, I guess it kind of depends. I mean, I've done a fair variety, but like Danganronpa is kind of like... Although, honestly, it's hard for me to recommend my first Do the first Danganronpa video. Because those old ones, the, the first, especially the first game, did, is not aged well. The second game's okay, I think. I, I think, I still think V3 is probably the best one. That's because I feel like I've got more comfortable, but... Um, yeah, DR1 is rough. <laughs> it's just hard to go back to because I have an old mic. I don't edit out as much shit. Uh, my ad libbing isn't probably quite as good. 13 Sentinels, I guess. I guess it depends what you're in the mood for. If your guy doesn't like, like, visual novels and stuff like that, and they maybe like RPGs and stuff, then probably a Persona game. I think, I think Persona 4 Golden still stands, it still sits up okay, I think. Um, they could always do Persona 5. Or something. I don't know. Just ask them what they're in the mood for. So. <laughs> and maybe they won't like any of them, which is, is it's fine, all right? It's perfectly fine. <laughs> it's fine if he doesn't like it. So. Uh, oh, Marox, the 100 bits, man. Conviction strategy, since they have the. They say that conviction made from the player's choice will influence the story, making a big theme in the game. I suppose that could work. Um. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't probably need to be anything too crazy. I mean, like a tactics. I could have tactics in there and something else. Maybe that's a little too on the nose or, or what's that tactics ogre game? <laughs> Cling together or what, however that fucking title goes. That, that, had, that had a weird like surname to it. It was like tactics ogre. Hold us together. Cling together or something. What, what is that game called again? Anybody remember? I haven't actually played it. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Let us cling together. Is that it? Is that actually it? Tactic ogre or ogre is tactics ogre. Tactic ogres. Let us cling together. Yeah, it's just that it's that name. I thought it was such a weird name. Cling together. Give me hugs. Uh, super Dante. I think of the twenty bucks. You actually threw the guy. Uh, the guy Mine is modeled after his actor Shido Nakamura. Even at the time, the face scan tech was really well done. Also, speaking of voices, did you know that Yuya is voiced by All Might himself? Really? I did it. <gasps> That's dope. Holy shit. I oh, fuck. I need to be paying more attention. That's super dope. So Kiryu and All Might are best friends. I can hear it. I get curious on when he says that. Fuck, I need to be paying more attention to that. That's awesome. I did not know that. The night pointed out, I can't unhear it. Shit. You you are such a bro. Uh bug bugaboo, thank you for the two months. <laughs> I love your name. <laughs> There's just some things that like just tickle me to no end. And so, it's, sometimes it's just like cute or funny names that I like to say. And Bugaboo is definitely one. I'm probably every time I say it, I'm going to go, Bugaboo! <laughs> uh, been sub two months. It's been sub to you for, uh, YouTube for years. And it's been amazing. Any tips on starting Twitch YouTube? Happy sub anniversary. Thank you, buddy. Um, any twit uh, tips? Um, uh, don't do it to get big. <laughs> just do it because you like it and you want to have fun, you know? 
That's kind of just the point. Because that's all people really want to see. Someone else having a good time with whatever there is they're doing. Um, so, you know, if you're enjoying yourself, people will naturally just come and watch your stuff. So, uh, and it, I mean, and that's the thing. You can't fake it, right? I feel like you can't fake enjoying something. Or if, even if you, you do, it just is like, eventually it'll come across as disingenuous. Uh, so just do it because you enjoy it and you find it find it fun um and people just naturally you know get drawn to it and, and by the way and you'll start off probably maybe not super great um unless you have like public speaking experience uh but you get better just, and again if you just want a fine example just go watch the first videos i posted and listen to how shit they are and that and hopefully that will make you feel better <laughs> uh star michael thank you for the hundred another hundred bits man Thanks, man. I, I don't really, like, I don't particularly, like, I mean, the thing is, in, like, terms of, like, one-on-one stuff with other, like, other penguins, uh, maybe in a controlled environment or whatever, but, uh, it's kind of hard to, like, not stop just, like, shit lords and trolls and shit to come flying in there, right? Uh, I did remember, like, one time, like, a long time ago, I did have random penguins come in there. It was kind of a shit show. Uh, it was, this was a very long time ago. Uh, and I didn't really do it again afterwards when I had just like randos flying there. If assuming that they can talk to me, right? If it's Jackbox and we're just like, you know, people are coming in and we're just playing a game, that's fine. But in terms of actually having like, like one-on-one -on -one conversations or even just having them on like the stream or something, mm, I got to kind of know somebody fa fairly well enough. So I don't do collab. You might have noticed I don't exactly do collabs a lot, uh, very often. I honestly just, I'm also even just, even if it's somebody I like, I go, okay, I know clearly they can talk to an audience and, you know, such and such, but I'm just very nervous about even getting on with another YouTuber that we don't jive or we have a very different sense of humor or something like that, right? Um, cause then that, you know what ends up happening? You get on there and it's super awkward. And I just, I'm like, that shit like terrifies me. I'm like, oh fuck, I do not want that to happen. Um, so that's kind of how I am at least. Yeah, Weeby News, Weeby, uh, I thought the action went really well. Um, Weeby and I are very, I mean, we like a lot of similar things, right? Um, so that was, I felt very comfortable just chatting, chatting with her, so. Um, yeah. I wouldn't mind hanging out with Weeby again. Um, but, you know, it's like, we have very similar, I think we had a very similar sense of humor and also similar tastes in games, right? I mean, we both love Danganronpa, so. There's a, there's a ton to talk about. Well, she had me on stream. That was a while ago. It was probably like a couple of years ago. There was a, uh, uh, it was a Spike Chunsoft like reveal, I believe. They were showing a bunch of different projects they were working on. Um, and we just, I, she asked me if I hop in with her. I was like, okay. So we watched together and, uh, it was nice. Would you collaborate with Shempai? I don't, again, I'd probably have to talk with her some, um, like I, even before then I talked with Weeby. So I had, that's why I was like, okay, I, th I think we probably are right. Uh, Shenpai seems very nice. Um, like I said, I, I've seen some of like her videos and stuff like that. And I found them really funny. Um, so, but I, like I said, I probably would talk to her a little bit beforehand, even if it's just in like a chat room or something, uh, or DMs just to be like, you know, you just gotta get a feel sometimes for, uh, how things go. Cause I've, I've had a few other times where I've, I've met people before and I go, I don't think this is going to work. And it's not like there's anything wrong with them or with myself. It's just like that feeling of like, I don't think we quite jive right. I don't think we're going to bounce off each other in a uh, a good way. I don't know. I probably think about it too much, but that's just me, okay? <laughs> that's one of my personality quirks. Can you expand my social links? No. <laughs> I, uh, I've always been a hermit. You guys know that. Oh, very sleep. She's facing the other way, but hold on. Uh, oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What you looking at? This is probably a good time then. Let's go ahead and just get some Bernie scratches out of the way. Um... 
Uh, Gestrid, Rainbow Bubbly, Shining, Fistful of Mons, uh, Gothic Fox, Kamina Girl, as always, Sora Soda, Destiny Fruit, Kibiji Biggie's Final, AJ Roberts, NC King, AA Fan, and Elka, Alex, and uh, Luis. Thank you guys. scratches okay go ahead and do some voices and we'll uh, hop into little nightmares uh masculinity penguin uh Kameda. i've got a question for you what's heavier a kilogram of hope or a kilogram of despair uh what you want me to answer the question uh probably hope that's right a kilogram of hope because hope is heavier than despair hajime walks in and whispers to Kameda's ear uh what do you what do you mean Hajime, they're both a kilogram. <laughs> Kameda, but hope is heavier than but hope is heavier than despair. I know, but they're both a kilogram. Okay, Kameda, what? <laughs> okay, I that one was at least I I can sort of get the joke on that one. So even if it was referencing apparently Lemmy Show Part Two. <laughs> uh, Dwarven Defender, Shuto Dan voice. Oh, the Max's intro is—is is that the singer? I have no idea who Shuto Dan is. Um, for, oh, the world ends with you. I don't remember who's Shuto Dan. I'm sorry, it's been too long. Is it Beyblade guy? Beyblade guy? You gotta say Beyblade guy, dude. You know I don't remember this guy's name. That's why I call him Beyblade guy. So I never remember what his actual name is. Beyblade! Uh, can I do that in the Beyblade voice? We all need to shine on to see how far we've come on a journey. Far yet to go searching for our star. Deep in the night, I pray in my heart for that special light To shower me with love, to shower me with power To shine from above I gotta get the edge of soul to carry on What I believe from the very start I get the edge of soul to carry in deep in my heart <laughs> To love! Da, 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 to shine! To love! To shine! <laughs> there we go. Thank you. <laughs> I've seen that enough times to at least know the melody relatively. Uh, weird guy. Uh, Penis reference. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Nico. Hey, what bonus bosses did you guys get? <laughs> I, I know this one at least. Uh, Lucas, I got statues ridiculously bulky. Frisk, I got skills and they won't let me forget my sins. Oh, <laughs> Mori, I got a rock. <laughs> yes, I know that one. Thank you. Uh, Flare Soul, Larry. Now for the sequel from last week, A New Hope Bagel. Hajime, how are you alive? No, you know, I was, I was one with despair. Uh, ha what? Haba Jimnobi, what? A simp, oh, what? What the hell is this shit? A simple ovel can't kill me. Stabs, stabs Hajime. Makoto Nagi Walker while escaping. No, no. Nagito, all, all in due time, Nagi. See you later. After some time, Nagito. I have done the deed, Supreme Emperor Kokichi. Excellent, Hajime, as light crackles from his hand. Uh, Larry, next time the Oma Emperor strikes back. You guys are way too memey to have any idea what's happening. 
for to for me to keep up with your shit. Uh, you're uh oh sorry uh novified. You're 21 21 NASA. After all these years, we finally landed on Mars 2188. <laughs> to hear a murmur. All right, let's send our DNA to this inhabited planet to save the human race. I mean, let's send our DNA to habit and have inhabitable plant to save the human race. That's not going to backfire in any way. Silver Lieutenant, uh, curious storms out of the last karaoke in Kamurocho. Damn it. No Bakumi tie again. Is this some kind of sick twisted joke? Uh, psh, hey, Kiryu. Huh? Uh, looks at a dark alley. Darkly. Hey, it's your boy, Darkly. I hate you want to sing. Am I wrong? Who are you? The one with all the dark and dark, dark and dead contacts you need. So, interested? I hear you. A wealthy gentleman wants to humiliate a Prappa, Prappa wannabe, the boyfriend of his daughter, in a sign about part one. What? Oh, find out what happens next time in part two. Hopefully, I remember the story's plot line <laughs> when that happens. Uh, video junkie, uh, in Aubrey's voice, I believe. I believe in you, Kiwi. You can do the. You can do. You can do the impossible. I believe in you. Uh, and cringe. Uh, ome wa, ome wa mu shinderu. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, true reaction blast. Like, reaction blast. Like the hundred bits. Have some more bits. Also, my girlfriend says your glasses are cute. I'll save the rest for later, but not for now. Enjoy. Thank you, buddy. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and hop into some freaking. Uh... Oh wait, I gotta switch over to. Uh... Hold on a second. Let me go ahead and get the lights set up. So let's hop into a little some little nightmares. Give me just a second, guys. Is the mic catching Bernie snoring? Probably. She's rather loud. Sorry, I forgot I didn't leave any guessing guess music. Sorry about that. Did I see Max reaction? Yes, I did. I know he was just going to be like, uh, <laughs> uh. That was, I, I thought it was funny. It was just simply that he's like, he's like, you know, Sakurai, you can, you can make other things, other characters, not just try to make Simmons and myself happy. Because at this point, he has, he's like, done a bunch of characters that both Simmons and himself like love. Simmons has got Banjo and now Mithra and Pyra. Uh, Max got Terry uh, and Sephiroth. Uh, the Meister plays games since the 10 months, dude. Welcome back. All right. So let's go ahead and see what the sequel to Little Nightmares, Little Nightmares got for us. This game got good reviews. They even have, they have it all over the uh, the banner for this game. It's like, this game got 9 out of 10. None of the 9 out of 10. Was the, was the first game a Bandai Namco game too? Yeah, stop catering to us. Really, it was. I don't remember that.
By the way, I got a new controller. I got one of those Xbox Elite controllers or whatever. Behold. Neat. It's nice. It's actually pretty nice. I, I only got it because the PS4 controller that I was using was... The cord on it was starting to fuck up a bit and I was getting... And also, just... I was noticing that there's compatibility issues with some games. I was like, fuck it, whatever. I'm just going to get one of these. It's nice. It, it works well. Yeah, the Xbox controllers are, are good. What I actually liked was the fact that I could actually tighten the, uh, uh, the uh, tension on the on the joysticks, um, and switch them out too, which was, was kind of nice. It's good. It's good. It's a nice controller. Feels good. Uh, uh me Rolex. Thanks. For, oh, thanks for the twenty bucks, dude. Fish by switch for the art counter. Just give a few seconds to see it all. It's pretty fitting for a nice spooky game. Hope you like it. Thank you, dude. I will. Oh, dope. Very dope. Cool, man. Thank you. I love it. I retweet it. Very appropriate. Is there actually a difficulty in this game? So, so we got two characters this time. Looks like six gets herself a little friend. Yeah, so I played this game, the first game, about four years ago. It was back in 2017. It's also in the it's it's I still have the the stream. It's in the in the full live streams playlist. If you want to see that first playthrough, but uh, I liked it. I liked the game a lot. His name is Mono. I'm going to bet they probably don't point that out in the game at all because... Nobody really talked in the last game. Uh, say, thanks for the 20 months, dude. Oh, we're starting off as this little guy. Got to figure to be back at 6 again. Pretty game is pretty. Hold on a second. Uh, pay for the spooks in the dark times. You came to the right place. Okay, we got our jump. Oh, there's a run. <laughs> Small child in dark woods. We have entered limbo. This is the limbo effect. Small child with a large head in a dark and scary world. What's the pickup? Oh, there it is. I got my block. Okay, do I have like a throw button? Yep. Try to remember remember the uh basic controls from before. Can I turn on the TV or anything? I'll just pull myself up. Oh, sure, video junkie. I'm, I'm glad that helped, buddy. Oh. Yeah, Aubrey's a real sweetheart in that game. She's a real sweetheart. Eh. Yes, sir. Thank you for the uh, 100 bits, bud. Apparently, the uh, developer of Little Nightmares is done developing the series. So now Bandai Namco, which owns it, will be developing from now on. Interesting. Sitting here admiring everything. Does everything look good on your end, guys? Everything look nice and crispy and sharp? Does this child also have no shoes? He does. These poor kids. Ow, 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 ow. Looks good? Okay. Ugh. And Lord knows I'm going to be stepping in a whole bunch of goopy, gross shit, too. What am I even looking at? Some kind of dead thing. Hold on, let me practice my jumping skills without repercussion here. Can 
actually get up this way? I guess I can't. Wee. Wee. Pull. Oh, there we go. Okay, LT to crouch. The lighting, man. Look at the look at the lighting in this game. <laughs> actually, to be fair, though, in these games where you do so much sneaking around, it actually probably is better for them to be running around barefoot. Hey, there's a shoe right there! Though it's a little big. Can I take this with me? This is my shoe. Yay! I've got shoe. It's just bad other shoe, sir. Ugh. Bring out your dad. Bring out your dad. Come on. Do I have to like grab the... Oh, I do. That's right. That's how this works. You have to jump. You won't automatically grab the ledge. You gotta do the grab button, basically. Okay. Slightly more precarious jump. Wee! Ow! Ah. A body's been discovered! A lot of bodies! Holy shit! You guys have been uh, keeping busy! Oh, though that's uh, very obviously precarious. I'm just gonna walk around you if I can at all possibly do that. Haha! -ha, not today! Damn, I'm so smart. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, I see that shit too. No, fuck you. Think I'm gonna do that shit? Nuh uh. You ain't gonna get me. Obvious trap is obvious. If I could trigger it without actually. Ugh. 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 We're going for a zero death run, guys. Oh, use the shoe. Good. I Wait, can I get the shoe back over here? Maybe. Hold on. It's kind of a ways back here, though. Oh, actually, no, I can't. I left it behind. If I find something to throw, I'll chuck it over there. Okay, this seems like a very complicated and tough puzzle. It's going to take many, many hours of thinking. Solved it. Ugh. I don't think we're going back that way. Ah! Uh -oh. Uh oh, thank you, little little bump. Uh oh. Ah! I died? What? Wow. What? Bullsh. Oh, okay. That time I, I could definitely. Okay. Well, it looks like my zero death run is, uh. I'm going to call bullshit on that one, though. Holy shit. That, that first one was what? <laughs> Didn't seem like he even hit me. I thought, actually, I thought I just got knocked down. I was like, oh, was that part of the cutscene? And then, no, I'm dead. <laughs> The, the very large hitbox in this tree touched me. You, you actually have to, you really have to start running like immediately. Like I didn't know, I didn't notice it until like a, about like a half second. So I think I just started running a bit too late, but yeah. A zero death run on this game for the first one would not, not be super easy. Can I climb up this? Hello there, noose. Oh, I can. 
Okay, so don't catch that around my neck when I run over to it. Thank you. There we are. Easy. Uh, Carl, but you, man, I think it would be seven months, dude. Oh, am I going to check out Persona 5 Strikers? I probably will at some point, but, you know, I got to finish what I've finished the games I've started. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably check it out. Okay, that looks like... Oh, hey. Perspective. Would you get you the gun move? I think it's in the next section, Shibuya. The gun that lets you shoot and kill all the enemies in a single hit. Kind of takes away some of the suspense from the game, but okay. Burp. Bird up. Hello. I'm going to take the shoe with me. Yeah. Oh, slightly less obvious trap. <laughs> I'm back. I was just resting after I got caught. I decided maybe I should take a break. Oh, oh, we actually need the shoe to, to light the path or to set off the traps. Gotcha. Okay. Actually, actually, it was still pretty fucking obvious. <laughs> ha ha. Oh, whoops. Keep forget to press the button. Got the lighting, though. Seriously, the lighting in this game looks amazing. Holy shit. Okay, log? No? No logs? Good. Oh, I see you, Mr. Bear Trap. This one's very closed up. Can I actually grab it? Like, open it up. I cannot. <gasps> a stick! Am I the chosen one? Can I pull the stick out of the bear trap? Ah. Uh. Yeah! I've got a stick. Can I attack with it? Hi. What? Hi. Hey! Hey! Hey, mate! Cool. Uh. Oh, shit. Yes, I can. Cool. Hey. Hey. You want, mate? Hey, I guess go back here. I can just walk around this. Another stick. I died from that. Oh, I'm curious. Sick. I okay. This this is actually definitely new. In the original original game, you could not attack. Six was like, but until the end, until you became a god at the end. Six was like, nah. Ugh. Leaf physics. Good call. Good call. Totally knew that was there. Yeah. Totally knew. I had a feeling. Convenient pine cones. Whee! Oh, wait. Bullshit! 
Come on, you fucker. Okay. I see him. There we go. Okay. Just gonna make a nice little, uh... So let me go ahead and just chuck this over here. And... Thanks. Whoa. Okay, I don't think we need any more. Ah! Okay, this is a slight problem. We're good. I forgot I gotta I, I actually have to I've been, I'm so used to games having the auto grab I'm not used to actually having to hit the grab button when I uh when I grab a ledge we're fine come down penguins we're fine light oh good god am I at redneck Billy's house or something I'm at that guy from Outlast's house him and his naked his naked twin brother who we'll also do it on the side. Suspenseful music. Can I take this? Come on. I cannot. Ooh, I can go under this way. Okay, hope they don't mind. I'm gonna just uh, pop in here, use the bathroom real quick. I'm in. Oh, this looks great. This looks like a real. Seriously, uh, Mono, you couldn't just like walk around the house. I know we're in a weird 2D perspective. Come on, there's a there's a fucking there's a whole world in front of you, right, and behind you. Guys could really use it some uh, extra wine for your for your stuff here. Sick. Ow! Do not step on it with my bare feet. It's a pretty game, guys. It's a pretty game. Ah, yes, the the return of Chile. That was the true. That was the true terrifying factor of Outlast Two. Hello. Okay, we got a basement. What's over here? Equip collected hats in the pause menu. Sick! I got the hat! Cool, there are collectibles in this. Yay! Well, actually, see my face now? Unless I wear it so far over my head that I can... Sort of? Yeah, I can see my face a little bit. I don't need a plastic... A paper bag anymore. Hat acquired. <laughs> Equip shoe. I can bounce around this thing like I'm... I can play Mario. Yeah, I think I remember the last game, the collectibles were like, the, you can find these little dudes and you can give them hugs, right? I don't know if the hat, this game has something similar or if it's just hats. So I remember quite a bit of pulling of drawers and climbing up the drawers. 
Yeah, little gnomes. Uh, okay, I cannot go up there. Thank God they have a hat just my size. Despite them being giant people. I'm a boy, right? Is Mono a boy? He is? Okay. So TF2 has trained people for this. Slide it. What meat cleaver? Well, shit. Can't pick that up either. figured six would be ass blasting her way around the world right now seeing as she's now basically a god hmm hello there mine I like the theme, the little the music is playing. Very pretty. Woo! I'm gonna bust you out of there, girl. Assuming that's a girl. Six. We just see six without her hood very often, but just, I think it is. She's got the same goofy run that six had. Return to monkey. But she doesn't have her, her uh, recognizable uh, yellow coat. Her I, I recognize that run cycle weirdly enough. Is there a candle on the wall? I wonder what she, she, what she be trapped in here for as well. Like, shouldn't she have... Or is she trapped in here? What's she doing? What you doing, girl? Aren't you a god? Bioshock, leave this six months, dude. Welcome back. Oh, there she goes. Hey, you forgot your thing. You forgot your thing. Look, I got it. Never mind. Come back. Look at my cool hat. She's going to push this door open. Apparently she can. She's still strong as fuck. Nope. Bye. <laughs> Bye, little girl. I'm going to leave you here. Are they alive? They're, are they dolls? Ew, one person's got like a goopy shit coming out of their face. Hey, where are you going? Uh, true, uh, reactor blast thinks the hundred best bud. 
That's right, go find Curia Mines where they'll know what to do. We can punch the... Wherever the enemies end up being for me. I haven't come across anyone yet. Friend. Ah, <gasps> friends work together. Alley oop. Okay. Okay. Step. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh. Shoo. We hear some. I hear some rustling though. Are we friends now? Can I give you a hug? <gasps> I can hold your hand! Ah, uh, this is some Ico stuff right here. We're friends now. Hmm. Oh, can I open this? Kind of want to look around for interactables. Make sure not, I don't miss any secrets. Whoops, my bad. Hey, check this shit out. Pretty dope, right? I am asserting my masculinity. Ugh. I'm showing off. <laughs> You're my girlfriend. Sure, whatever. Okay, up we go. Mono big and strong. Must show off for girl. Uh, okay. Well, we got some knickknacks, including this. <sighs> Push. Friends work together. Apes stronger together. Well, I see a nice shiny key hanging from a hook. Why'd they put that there? I'm going to go back. We have a way back. In need of a lever that's conveniently missing. Hmm. Ew. Some legs. Leg. Ah. <gasps> yeah. Did I keep a keys in my in a hook in the attic? Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. You, ma'am, are totally not dead or a doll like the others. Get ready. We all see what's going to happen here. Never mind. Wow, that's some very lifelike dolls you got. Uh. There we go. Never mind, we're fine. Take that, lady. We're gonna, later on, we're going to find a similar woman holding a similar lever. And that, that one, I'm going to try pulling. She's going to wake the fuck up and be like, <laughs> Guess again, bitch. Real this time. Ow, fuck. Hey, that was mine. Ow. Ooh, thank you, Six. Oh, wait. Sorry, do you want help? Oh, wait. Am I? Am I oh. <gasps> Lift me up. You're already like 10 steps ahead of me, Six. Calm down. <laughs> Shit. Perspective.
Trying to go to the left here to... There we go. There we are. Key. Key blade. Cool. I'm just gonna assume this is six. I she has like I swear to God, she has the same damn run cycle the other one does. Even she doesn't have the coat. Clearly six is gonna show up in this game at some point, so. I'm just gonna assume it's you until I get proven under otherwise. Uh okay, I guess we go back now. Is this actually a co-op game? Could you actually play this with like another person? Anybody know? It's not really That's surprising. Okay, so if I can just uh shoo. All right, peace and out. Assuming this goes outside. Yes. Okay, good. Unbelievably, we did not run into a single living person there. I'm proud of us. Ooh, big boot prints. Got any cool hats over here? I'm gonna be all, I'm gonna be all, all on the lookout for hats. Or gnomes to hug. Can I grab like this thing? No. My tool shed. Oh, I heard something. No, no, not there. Uh. <laughs> Well, oh, oh, we can move this probably, right? N no. Can, oh, we can push it. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> I guess that's close enough, they say. not look like a friend oh it's, it's, it's you can actually see she's crashing already showing like you definitely want to be crouching right now it's a big chunky dude Well, that's a bitch. Very noisy. Oh, fuck. Ah, get out my lane, motherfucker! Ah. Woo! Cover. Nice aim, dickhead. Uh, 
I, I too used to have a bag for a head. Yo, six, uh, maybe, uh, stay a little lower. Until he's completely gone. I'm gonna push him off. Tall grass. Fuck. Redo. Hold on. This guy really wants us dead. Me hunting rabbits. Me hunting kids. You crazy psycho fuck. Out of my way, Bramble. Holy shit. Thought we were fucked. Let's hold hands again. Safety. Hand holding. Uh, is this something? No? Okay, that, it looks like we are, no way I can jump across that, right? Uh, oh my God. Ugh. Nope. Now we know. <laughs> well, good thing I imagined that and didn't actually do it. Right? Six, six. Oh, no, I can't pull this. Yes, this is how bridges work. Fly! Ah. Okay, now how do I get across? Ah! Ah! Oh, fuck you. Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. We're, we are doing some Ico shit. Oh, my God. This would be, uh... Oh, my God. You know how fucking horrifying this would be? I'm going to catch you, the full weight of you, with my one arm while hanging off the edge of, of a precipitous ledge. I'd be like, nah, you know what? It's fine. It's not worth it. <laughs> I'm going to live over here. Wherever I'm going is not worth it. Ugh. Damn, girl's strong as fuck. Yeah, Six is still... She's got to have demon power. She's able to fucking just hold my ass up with one arm. Uh, honestly, why didn't you just kill the guy with the shotgun earlier with your bra with your brain powers? Like, Unless this is supposed to be like a prequel or something. I can't remember at the start of the game of the, of the first game was, though, to be honest. Oh, I see. I think I see a kid in there. I think. Is that a construction helmet? Uh. 
Ugh. Oh boy. Nice hat, dude. I think it is. Mine. New hat. Uh oh, it's like a rain hat. Hey, if we can find your coat, we'll be matching. Dead child. Be at peace, child. I shall make good use of your hat. Yeah, I do not stick out like a sore thumb at all with this. Oh, God. Problems. Run, child. What? Why am I not running? Uh, I was holding the run button. He just, I think he got caught in the foreground or something. Uh, Bugaboo, thanks for 100 bits, bud. They wouldn't confirm whether it was a prequel to the first or sequel. It's just what they want us to think then. Of course, only shoot after me and not her at all, right? Ah, oh, my TV. God dang it. Bobby, stop running, Bobby. Oh, God. Yeah. Ah. 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 Damn it, six. Curse you, perspective. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Ew, land the doo doo water. I'm just going to hide under here for a bit. Oh, we can we can actually submerge. Ow, fuck. Really be to get down. actually move too while I'm underwater. Oh fuck you bullshit. I got behind that rock. the bullet uh -oh. okay you got me that time oh hey you're right tree heart oh should we be doing this I could have gotten over there without having to do that, but 
just makes it slightly easier unless i can really can't hold my breath that long actually i guess you can't that's probably the point i can hold my breath roll of love like three seconds bird what up burb bird up do not startle the birds oh shit stop getting caught in the foreground man okay Close the door! Hold the door! Hold on! Give me the gun! Give me the fucking gun! Ugh. Oh, fuck it. Eat shit, bitch. Here we go. Lock and load, motherfucker. Eat this. Ugh. I got the gun. See, I told you, Shubi. This is where the gun is. And now we can kill all the enemies in the game in one shot. It's dope. Get fucked. I want to see what this guy looks like. Let's go gaze this dead, lifeless corpse. Ah, shit, I can't. Go teabag him real quick. Nice shooting there, Six. Let's go. <gasps> Got a door raft. <laughs> Out to sea we go. Get yeah, nerf this. Boom. Okay, let's hope this is not going out to literally empty vast of uh, empty vast ocean of nothing or is this a lake like where the fuck even are we so six uh now we got a chance to talk uh where'd your demon powers go i didn't use it to like eat that guy unless it's a prequel which case you wouldn't have it <laughs> nah, it's okay it's okay six i'll figure it out eventually Oh, there's my TV. Am I seven? Is she six? Nah, apparently my, my character's name is Mono. Uh, it's true. This is Titanic. Now I must watch as Leonardo DiCaprio freezes to death. I'll never forget you, Leo. I'm going to come across a big ship or something. Oh, wait. Am I going towards the title? The title card? Towards the title drop? If they're going to do it, this would be the time. Oh, that's freaky. Curved buildings that seem to be already falling. Doom. Bendy City. Damn, super surprising to get a tile drop there. Thanks, door. Wow. It just went on its way. Didn't need a sail or anything. All right, come on, six. You and I are going to have our little goofy run over here. 
<gasps> I see demon child. Little tiny footprints. Hello? What was that? I was like, oh shit, am I dead? Not dead, seemingly. Not real. A mirage of flies. Hmm. Did I just suck him up? I don't have no idea. Pretty. Pretty in a in a spooky way. Wish there's none in the corners or something here. Oh, hey. Uh, seemingly there's just a barrier here. I was like, oh, there is something over here, but not really. Just gonna hop across the beach. Forage! I got an achievement. Where's my long jaunt? Bird. <laughs> Fuck shoes. Six and mono do not believe in shoes. Shoes are the devil's whack. Gosh, there are a ton of shoes in this game. I cannot say there is a lack of shoes that we could put on, but like I said, at this point, it's probably better. The quieter we are, the better. Shit falling back there. What in the hell is that? Just clothes? Oh, it is. It's clothes falling off the clothes lines up from above. Damn, it's a pretty ass game. Pretty ass game. The hell? These guys just did did fucking imperfect cell come through here and suck everybody up? Yes, good, very tasty. Mm, yummy. My perfect body, ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me touch your skin. Got Thanos snapped. I think even I think even people got Thanos snapped. All their clothes disappeared too. All right. Well, uh, gonna lift me up. I need to oh, I guess you just can't get up here yet
Whoops. She's like, hey, hey. I like how I'm sitting there like, that didn't happen. I just thought about that happening. It's a lot of TVs, man. I think I need to knock this off. Yeah. Oh boy. Going up. She's like, hey, hey. It's fine. I'll figure something out. Oh. Hi. Hi. I wish I said six. And she's like, Mono. I'm like, how do we know each other's names? I don't know. Oh, hey, yes, you just knew, you just knew that I'd be able to come up here and find this perfectly set TV and that would work, use it to pull you up. I don't know how you know this one's tied to that specifically. With how many rips are up here, but you know what, it's fine. Up we go. <laughs> I think she should have gone woo like off that TV. Okay, I went a little higher than I intended, but. We're gonna meet up at some point. Oh god, are we doing this shit again? Oh. I'd be like, fuck that thing. It's not worth it, alright? We're gonna die. <laughs> like, even this time, look, what's she got to hold on to? The edge of the fucking wood. That's all she's got. The other one she actually had is like something she could really like wrap her arm around that was like stuck to the bridge. This one's like, nah, I'm just gonna put the full force of my arm and my back. Nothing to grab onto with my right arm except for the floor below me and hope to God we don't fall to our death. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Leap of faith. Damn, girl. You strong as fuck. Seriously. I'm gonna find you a hat soon, Six, all right? I can't be the only one to have a cool yellow hat like this. Okay, there's that way. Oh, this is the, actually, this is just the way she came in from. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> okay, I think they might be the other collectible in here. I wonder if there's like an indication about... So we got hats. Yeah. I think it might be the other collect collectible. One more child absorbed. I grow stronger. Maybe by the end of the game, if I absorb all the children, I too will become a god like she does. And just start like phasing everybody out. Bzzz. Just hand wipe and they're gone. Um, nom, 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 nom. Yummy. <laughs> My suck up the other children, become ultimate child. I am actually shocked this isn't a co-op game. Seems like it'd be prime for it. Oh, that looks good. So this guy killed himself before he got sucked out of his clothes, before Perfect Cell came to town. Gonna uh, squeeze my way through here. Look where my giant hat fits in. What the hell? Ah, oh, these commercials! Fuck you, Super Bowl commercials! I must buy Pepsi! Uh, uh, I don't want it! Well, that's not the power button, but okay. Used to tune the transmission? Oh, yeah, but. Like, mute. Whoa, that's wild. Thou art I, I thou art. What? It's the motion. Adrian. Oh, thanks for pulling me out of the light there. Well, that was wild. That's some new shit. Teddy's over there. Hi there, 
our buddy. I'm like, no, pull me out, Six, pull me out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, friend. I wish there was a button to hug. Sometimes you just need a good hug after some crazy dank shit like that. Hug. Up we go. So clearly I've got some kind of weird demon powers myself. So why wouldn't I? Are we into the game? I'd say probably about an, an hour or so. Okay, I think we're gonna need to push this. Oh, oh, we gotta use the bar. Heavenly host elementary school. Ah, but yeah! this is not the place I want to be today. But more importantly, look a seesaw. Oh my God. Please let's play on the seesaw. Six, get on the seesaw. Get on the seesaw. Come on. Come on. Get on the seesaw. Grab my hand. All right, wait. You got my hand. Oh, damn it. Come on, get in this. Yes. Yes. Seesaw effect. I unfortunately cannot. Damn it. So I'm going to like, I get on one end, she get on the other. And then we do like, do we do the seesaw? And then I get like an achievement or something. Oh, hey. I see an eye. Oh, hey, she's sitting. Why are you sitting? Can I sit too? I don't think I can. I mean, it's a bench, I know, but for what game purpose she's sitting? Is that where she like spawns maybe if something happens? There's an eye with a candle on her in her room too. Oh, hey. Ow. I'm through the trash trying to find some shit. Not seem to. Oh, oh, there we go. What if I got on this thing and said, "Make called her out instead." Okay, somebody used that to get out. So now we're going to use it to get in. Wait, before we do that. Hold on, I see another ball. Oh wait, no, it's a hat. Hey, I'm glad I went for that. Is that a football helmet? Holy shit, it's a fucking Q hat. Dope. Guys, look, I'm in my Q cosplay.
kick this ball in there. Goal. Oh, I got an achievement. I fucking knew it. Referee. I just got an achievement for that shit. I knew I, knew I was going to get an achievement for that. I was like, come on. Or a meal. It's either Q or a meal. It looked more like a Q hat to me. All right, up we go. See you guys, this is what, why it's worth looking around. Big ball head. Yeah, not, the face is not as creepy on this one. This, yeah, this definitely looks more like a meal. Actually, it looks like they took a ball and basically caved it out. But yeah, it's, it's a volleyball with the inside, with like one end of it opened up. Huh, that's funny. Yes, I have become Wilson. Uh, what we got cooking in here? Don't want to go to the principal's office. Oh, that's just great. This looks like a brain for a fun time. If that's what these guys look like. What does that lady have like mouths for eyes or some shit? Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Hello there! Ball. Ah, <gasps> she's like, I got a can. Oh, I got a ball. My thing's cooler. Ugh. But you can't do that shit with your can. <laughs> Heads up. Oh, you're supposed to catch it, six. You suck at this. Block. Oh, hey. There's the eyes on these, too. Do you like these? Six? I got... Oh, oops. All right, well, that's fine. I'm just going to put this... Right. Yeah. I'm going to bounce my ball on it. Watch this. Shit. Oh, hey. <gasps> Dope. Whoa. That was sick. Whoa. <laughs> Physics objects do not com does not compute. Oh, ah, six. You just ruined it. That's ah, okay. I still love you, though. Bonk. We got a lot. Of, we got a lot of cool stuff in here. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm doing that quite right. Oh my God! <laughs> Crazy crash. I did not go far. Oh, hey, I found a doll for you. Here we go. And this. Six did it. Ow. Area, this is. <laughs> that was interesting. Sorry, that was normal. That was supposed to happen. Absolutely. <laughs> Whoa! I was like, what's happening? Did you see me just Superman that shit? I was like, <laughs> See, I told you guys, I have force powers. Here you go. This is for you, Six. <laughs> hey! Hey! That is for you. Come take it. Come on. It's yours. I don't want it. Come on, take it. I, I found it. It's for you. There you go. You're going to talk to him. Be your new friend. Sweet. That, oh. Ow. Is that something? I apparently can't pull myself up. Can. I should sure pick up a lot of stuff.
Can I grab this? I cannot. Fire! It's your pal, friend Freddy Fazbear. Got a fork in my eye. Uh, I can't open that either. So like a stick of a lever and a thing of dynamite. Oh wait, can I grab this little like dreidel thing? Don't. Oh wait. No. <laughs> I cannot. Pat, pat. She's like, oh fuck. Okay, that's not. Oh. I actually do need something, don't I? I'm gonna take this ball with me. Alright, away we go. Here, you wanna grab something too? Or hell, hey, let's man grab a block. You grab the other block. Whatever, that works. Okay, not, not you. There, there we go. Oh, we're all except the five. Okay, I was looking at Twitter. I found this amazing uh, fan-made Smash remix for Yaksa. Oh, dope. I'll check that out later, man. Thank you, dude. Yellow. Actually, I wonder if the light's off. Does that change anything? Can I see something that I couldn't see over here? Or back where I came? Just kind of curious. Uh, it doesn't seem to. Up we go. Oh, this looks pleasant. This is the punishment room. I don't like the punishment room. Oh, hey. We actually did have to stop our, our jumps. That was cool. Can. Give me the can, Mono. No, it's my can. No, give me the can, Mono. It's mine. It's mine. I can't fit through with it. I must leave Can Canchon behind. Uh oh. Can't, can't grab that. Oh, it's pretty obvious where to go on a lot of these. I'm just, I'm just like trying to explore, honestly. So, oh, that's not good. Time to start getting creepy again. I was enjoying our fun little adventure for all new toys. Oh, I can actually open all of them? Can't open that. Nope. This one?
bucket. It's a bucket with a duck in it. What the duck? Do anything with it? I think I see a vent maybe going up there where the other end of it is. Uh, Dirty buddy, thanks for the five, bud. I've been a fan of yours for a while now. I don't know how long I remember, but uh, but I remember uh, finding you before DR2 and you still read fanfics in the stream. I want to tell you this game sucks. There's no monkey bars on the playground. That's right, no monkey bars, zero out of 10. Uh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate your support. Thank for sticking around. So I just can't do anything with this? Ball. Well, that's a hell of a trap. Damn, if that shit hit me, it would just knock me. <laughs> Imagine my body go ragdolling to the left. That's, that's some Home Alone shit right there. I'm going to dunk this shit. Damn. Oh, hello there. Other child. We found another child. We are not alone after all. Clicking of a clock in the back. Fanny's lockers open. Aside from, oh, no, they're latched shut. Oh, this one, this one does. Oh God. Oh. Slingshot. Can't do anything with it. So I think it's maybe some of the kids set up to stop, like, to kill the teachers, maybe. See another kid back there. Hey. The hell? Huh. A rub a dub dub in the sink here. I see a toy. Damn, these kids are savage. I don't think they want to be my friend. Ha-ha! I still got my toy. It's the monkey with the symbols. Can I make him go off? No. Duck. Ha-ha! I'm too smart for you guys. Thanks for creating a path for me, dumbasses. So this is some Home Alone shit right here. Cran. Can't pick it up. Eat this motherfucker. I 
<laughs> Nothing seems to kill six, but everything seems to kill me. Damn, this fucking suspense. So we're gonna swing from the ceiling or anything? Oh, I see a hammer. Oh shit! I didn't get caught in there. No! Stay no! I thought I was dead. Those motherfuckers! They dare take six away. They dare take my girlfriend away, motherfucker. You're gonna die for that, piece of shit. Ah! 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 Mono's pissed. Ah! Fucker. Ah! You dare take my fucking girlfriend away, Rick. I'm gonna slay every last one of you. Hey! Hey! Damn it all. Mono Angie! He Angie as hell. They kidnapped my girlfriend. I must get her back. The only way I know how. Through murder. And extreme violence. Who else wants some of this shit, huh? Well, golly gee, there's some nice nifty stuff over here, I gotta say. Ow. Dick move, game. Got played, son. Ah! Oh, yeah, you can kind of see that one, one is kind of raised up a bit, isn't it? Hey, what's up? It still hit me. Are you kidding me? I I can get him to trigger the trap for me though. Very large hitbox. Hey, dickhead. <laughs> I can't fuck. Get baited, bitch. Bitch. <sighs> Mono pissed. <laughs> oh, he's like, ew, what the hell? You like open a frog over here? Fucking weirdo. Mr. F Leave Kermit alone. He didn't do anything. I gotta leave my hammer behind. There. Oh wait, is this open too? It does. Hey, that was a secret one. Glad I paid attention. Saw that one did not have a lock on it. I see a picture. Collect the demon ch child. Is that a picture of a dog peeing or pooping? All right. Key needed. Oh, good. I brought my toilet paper to school with me. It's the school toilet paper sucks. Doesn't thoroughly wipe my ass. I see somebody. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Teacher. You better listen to teacher, children. Oh, my God. The lighting kiss your face.
Oh god. Freaky. I'm gonna bet she is just like the picture, right? She has like no hot eyes or anything. It's like holes where her eyes should be. Uh, Detective Kid, thank you for the two months, bud. Ah! I guess they saw me. At like the last second. Oh, I still got my checkpoint, though. I guess they must have seen me, and then the kids came after me. Uh, Noble Mayhem, thanks for the eight months, bud. Looks like I could grab, but I can't. She sent her demon children after me, her students. Kill him, students. Kill the infidel. Oh. That's a problem. <laughs> Oops. Good thing I just thought about that doing that and didn't actually do it. That would have been stupid. <laughs> Whoops. Get in the box. What a very long penis-like neck you have, madam. Gross. Let me just uh, hold on to that. She sees everything. Yeah, I think of the 23 months, dude. Rex Cypher, Pyro, and Mithra have been was Xenoblade 2 characters since Ultima was announced. And three years later, we finally are here. Also, don't worry about Shulk thing in the reveal. That is actually a non-canon deal, so you think. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, that's what I was told about when you guys uh, brought it up before. Just a fun thing. No, she's got eyes. <laughs> Attention, child. Little ceramic children, too. Okay, which way does she go? Does she go behind the desk, or she just... Okay, she just walks that way. Problem. Come, child. <sighs> you aren't paying attention. It's got a weird, long penis, kind of penis-shaped neck. It's very gross. Damn, she still saw me. Whoa, the grab range on that shit. Okay. All right, press, press raw. Appreciate it, man, but I'll let you know if I need a tip. Infinite grab range. I 
Where the hell am I? Still back here? I have to wait for her to make a full churn back here. Yeah. There she goes. Walk it. Don't bite me. Peace out, bitches. No cutting class, child. Boot. What did I pick up? Oh, a tiny shoe. And see, I could actually put these on. Fork. The fuck is this? Nice hat. Hope you don't mind if I steal it. I'm gonna lock it us in here and we're gonna do battle. Freaky. <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck you, dude. The pipe. Oh, he's chained up, isn't he? Got an idea. Oh, I can't pick up. I can't pick up the chalk, really. Yeah, fuck you. Eat lead. Ah! Lead pipe, that is. Ah, uh, I can't pick the hat up. Does I pop out? You bet it did. I got a lead pipe, motherfucker. They some slender drawings over here, too. Keep me down, motherfucker. Uh, oh, it's their dunce caps. This is a uh, very old school, old style kind of school here. Uh, Kiana, uh, Kia, Kiuna World. Thank you for the uh, three months, bud. Thanks for making me smile. Thank you for hanging out with us, bud. Ow, fuck. Sorry. Oh, shit. Uh, penis neck. I see you. What? Oh, fuck. That's going to get hit. Hello, small child. Come give your teacher an apple. Me. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to pull it down or something. All this glassware just conveniently in the worst places. Is 
something above me? Uh, apparently not. I can't shimmy. Instead of leg, it's not neck. Oh god. Oh come on, lady. Stay in there, teach the teach your ceramic children. I guess I don't want to go over there. <laughs> well, I was anticlimactic. Can I push it? Oh, there we go. What, there's a hat? Oh, you're right. There is a hat. I see it. Good thing I died. Otherwise, I would have missed out on this sick hat. A bucket. Or, t or a tin can. Dope. Come on, dude. Get yeah, Monopoly hat. I was thinking we could just jump over here without that. Nope. Ah! Ah! What? Excuse me, madam. Your hitbox is slightly ridiculous. You really got me cooking in here. Slide. Assume I can grab this. Yes, I can. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Freaky. It's my haunt, my dreams. Penis neck lady. Creepiest of 
little nightmare people. Hmm. Where the hell did six go? I want to go in there. Look at those, the picture of those demon kids over there. Jesus. Oh. Yes, I don't want to go that way. Everyone's like, there's nothing over there, stupid. Uh. Oh. Uh, Sarah, you're thinking the 11 months, bud. Welcome back. I'm like, that lady went in there. Seems like a good place to go. Dr. Awesome, thank you the five months. Welcome back. All right, another locked door. He's doing a spin. School's looking a little dilapidated, guys. I want to update it. Is that a giant pawn piece? It is. It's a giant, or giant chess piece. Mine. Fell apart. Hey there, kid. Blah, give me your power. <clears throat> Woo! Check this out. Soul absorbed. I see something over there. Dragon Empress, thank you for the two years. Like a draft. She only has seven neck. She she has like seven neck vertebrae, but I don't like draft. Her vertebrae are made of taffy. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, I see you, kid. Is he tied to that thing? He is. I must play chess. So clearly that is the king. I see a sword and a paper hat, a, a paper, probably a paper hat. I 
I spy with my giant red eye. Jump on it. Or is this just like a some kind of puzzle? Can't seem to jump on it. Where'd the teacher go? Good question. Fuck you, I hate this game. Oh, those have wheels on them? Darts at the crazy neck lady. Hmm. Oh, oh, can I use this? No. Oh, can I grab this? Yes. Okay, so the queen, the king in the center, the, uh, actually, the white king, and then. A uh, little thing to put up there. All right. If he's stuck, think of the two years, dude. Uh, 24 freaking months. That's a lot of months. Oh my goody goodness. Hey man, you're awesome. Don't succumb, succumb to the nightmares. Uh, thank you, dude. I will I will do my best not to. Uh hmm. Can I bring something in here? To like reach up there? Oh. Oh, I gotta take this thing back. There we go. This this is what I needed. Yeah, this is the rook. Come on. God damn it. you
<laughs> move my rook to f5. Uh... What did I do? The light turned on, but... What did that signify exactly? Is the door down here open? Grab that. Can't pull myself off. I thought it was a paper hat up there. Fine. Doggy peeing. Yeah, I, I know. I, 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 I saw the I saw the picture on the wall. That's why I was I was matching up with that. <clears throat> okay, I think we're good to go then. God, am I going to see like the crazy, uh, crazy, uh, school, uh, cooking lady or something? Cafeteria lady, gonna kill me. Ooh, a pepper shaker. Fine. So dare to fly, Mono. Urgh. Urgh. Damn it, his head's still alive. Damn it, I can't kill him anymore. Bitch. Triple kill. Godlike. Oh, you want some of this shit too? Uh. Oh, hey, what's up? Okay. What? Trying to get through there with my ladle, but it wouldn't let me. <laughs> well. Ah! 
That was just me fucking up there. I started to think that wasn't supposed to happen. Like, I immediately came out here and died. Well, uh, was I supposed to do something? Oh, wait, wait, wait. that way oh hey oh child head hello fellow <laughs> get that meme of Steve Buscemi well hey fellow kids oh, push me No wonder these teachers have to be fucking. No wonder these teachers are crazy. Look at these kids. Just, this kid, girl over here, spray mustard on the ground. Yes, I am one of you. What the hell? That one kid's been tied up. That what? This one girl over here has Miss Parker head missing. She's still alive. Uh oh, don't knock that pot on my head. Somehow I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Bye. Hey, what's up, kids? Ah, oh my god, choking her the fuck out. Like, yeah, it's good. I'm gonna kill you, bitch! These are some Brazilian kids. And play jump rope right there by the door. Okay, pat a cake with this kid's head. Oh god. Don't you land on me, dickhead. Die! Die! Die, child! Die! So I mean the boy is disassociating. <laughs> ah, damn it. Put my bucket back on. <laughs> you don't look like us. You must die. Says the children. Hello there, children. Now fuck this bottle. Ugh. Is that a brain? I think it is. Human brain. Whoops. Oh, I know what I did. I, I let go of the fucking grip button. When I, before I jumped. Sorry, again, I'm still so, I'm, my brain is having a hard time and sometimes remembering, I gotta hold the grip button. I have to hold it. This is not like other games. Or you just auto grab shit. 
So up. Uh, Scott, thank you for the five months, dude. Welcome back. Leap. Ah, oh, fuck you, dude. Shit. Ah. Fucking thing out of my way. There we go. Brain. Hit. <laughs> what? Whoa. Damn. That brain had some bounce in it. <laughs> Did you guys see that shit? <laughs> it almost bounced back up and I could have caught it. Damn. That was Einstein's brain right there. They say the smarter you are, the more bounce you get. Flubber brain. Mmm. So it does it again. Bounce for me, brain. <laughs> Bonk. Yes, good. Uh oh. Yeah, what the hell? She's like digging frogs out. You fucking weird lady. It's a science room, I guess. <laughs> this bitch, everyone, don't you have anything better to do, lady? Yes, good. Must cut the frogs. Oh. Okay, bye. I guess I'll see ya. I'm gonna get a knife to cut this bitch. Excuse me? <laughs> Wait, what? That's my reaction. the shit over? No? She got stuck in the door, I guess. She just somehow saw me. Can I go this way? Yeah. I think. Mono, come on, dude. There we go. door <clears throat> Okay, probably don't want to do that. Ka 
Curse you, child. Curse you. Oh, fuck. Child! Wow, the fucking sight on this lady. Come get me, bitch. So yeah, fuck this. Oh, there she goes. No. Yeah, knock those over for me. You're okay? What? This person is like glitching out a little bit. Yeah, I get I'm supposed to hide behind the jars. I'm trying to. She literally just keeps see Wow, yeah, that's that's supposed to happen. Hey bitch. I just spawned in and she saw me. Like, what the fuck? Like, I literally loaded it up and she just immediately saw me. There we go. What the hell? I kept trying to jump up here before and it's like she immediately would see me. I think that part was kind of bugging out a bit. Yes. Yeah, that was weird. Just a little buggy in some spots. Her, her eye detection thing is a little, a little funky. There we go. The fuck out of there. thing over here. Wait, I see a hat. Oh, her detection is super weird. Yeah, okay. That's a little broken. <laughs> Just a little broken. That hat ain't worth it, I guess. I expect you to die in the next room. Apparently, they they thought enough of it to actually have her run through the door, though. 
I guess I can't run to... I wonder if, it's, if I can reach that without running, that jump. I've been running to leap over there, and that makes her alert to me. But I thought I, I wouldn't be able to make it without a running jump. Come on, lady. Poor jar. Some people struggle with this part as well. Do it when she's right on the chalkboard. Oh, I guess the sound must cover it up. Okay. Let's try that. seem to she did not seem to give a shit this just seems really finicky honestly pa i mean i i guess patience is a key but i already was i've already been patient here like she just notices me for no reason sometimes like her i think just her her detection like she saw me through a wall <laughs> just a second ago Lady, I... What? Okay. I gotta wait. So she's right on the board, I guess. Shit. Your detection's a little ridiculous. Big Angel, thanks for 100 bits, man. What'd you miss? A lot of, lot of death and murder. And suddenly now she's just like detecting me just like with a little jump even though before i was able to make that jump she didn't notice me i don't know if I, it i'm trying to get the, the the writing on the chalkboard but i don't think that was what it was i'm like i'm crouching down now and trying to jump and see if that like there we go what the hell, bitch? Oh, come on. This is so bullshit. What is happening? What is she turning around from? We're starving. I mean, try. I guess I have to wait. Like, I didn't do anything. I did. I made no sound. I may have to may have to sit there and wait. Maybe the game expects you to wait. And I'm jumping too soon. And the game's like pissed about it. <laughs> you must play the game we wait. We want you to play it. Player. Let's try again. Damn, man. She like barely needs to, like she'll see you from just like the, 
very quarter of her eye, apparently. Yeah, I was like, okay, I guess I'll go. And then she started to turn around again. I was like, oh, well, never mind. probably right there is when I should do it. That's apparently, apparently not a hat I can get. I died for nothing. All right. Climb. Yeah, it was like... It was just made worse by the fact that I actually got through her fairly quickly the first time. And then it was just suddenly she just detected me through the wall. When I was trying to get that hat. All right, there we go. Ow. That did not kill me. Hammer time. Hey, kids, look what I got. Your fucking demise. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck you. If I'm going to die, take me with you. I'm going to take you with me, I mean. Hey, look. Uh-oh. Damn it. Come on, Mono, you dickhead! Oh, what? Oh, I did not die. Weird hitboxes, man. Somehow did not die. I'll take it. Uh-oh, I don't like where this is going. What up? Depth perception. At least give me a checkpoint there. Let's wait till you get a little closer. Open the motherfucking shit up. Hey, what's up, kid? Yeah, what's up? Who, want, who else wants some? Yeah, I see you, motherfucker. You think I don't see you? Uh -huh. Ralph comes in. Wow, you guys think you're being super clever. You should have dropped that kid. Oh, that's six! Mother! Uh! Uh! Alright, uh, how do I get you down and not hurt you? Okay. 
I guess that works. Hey, girl. I didn't just kill you, did I? I am free. Hey, it's me, Buckethead. I, am, I know I've got a different hat on. I keep finding new hats. Friend. I see her butt has a crack now. Yeah, I would think so. As long as her head doesn't have a crack. Ooh, la la la. I think we might be getting out of here now. See some cracked head kid in the corner there. Back to being friends. All right. No, we're going to go back. We're going to kill the teacher six. You and me. Let's go. Actually, wait. I figured the way I'm supposed to go is to the right here, right? Oh, yeah. But we're not going that way. We're going back to kill the teacher. Dan, dan. Ah! Come on. Come on, six. Just ignore all these dead bodies. Damn it. Kill teacher. Must destroy. They're kids though. We can fight. I've, I had a hammer a second ago. I could hit her in the foot. And then run. <laughs> Six was ready to fight with me. She's like, yeah, let's fucking do this shit. Let's fucking go. All right. Can break the te break the teacher's neck. <laughs> At some point, there's a vertebrae in there that's gonna that's gonna kill her, right? Yeah. Together. <laughs> Oh, hi. Oh, shit. I don't think we're leaving the school yet. Damn it. Hey, let's, let's play the piano. <laughs> My monotones, I got an achievement, yeah. Uh, uh. That's my this is my jam. This is my jam. Uh heavy. I think it's stuck now. Yeah, fuck this piano. Here we go. Ugh. Time your timing with me. Yeah, there we go. Ah! Under bridge is falling! Locked door. Oh, yeah, that's right. Lift me up. Oh, God damn it. She's just stabbing that other kid or that frog with a fucking key. Mine. Also mine. Hey, kid, I guess. I got a special tree for you. Good job, Six. Way to distract the kid for me.
Hey, six, look what I can do. Smoke this kid. Oh, fuck. Get him, six. Uh, uh. Fuck. Get him. Dude, six doesn't need a hammer. She's going to do it with her bare hands. She's like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> She's like, shh, shh. He's like, uh, 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 uh. Then she fucking snaps his neck. Ugh. Well, I guess we don't. I guess I don't need this hammer after all. Actually, it is funny how they set you up there. You don't need the hammer, do you? Six just goes over there, fucking kills him before you do. That's awesome. I don't even need that hammer. It's useless to me. Unless there's some other hidden shit in here I could use it for. Uh, I don't think so. Certified badass. She's like, that's right. I still got my demon powers, bitch. This is a sequel, motherfucker. Oh, box. Can I go around this way? Death perception. Can we... I need the hammer to... Hold on. Uh, dirty buddy likes the three bucks, bud. You never six kill that serum boy with their bare hands. My first thought was, must, must be seven's kids. This is my head cannon. Oh, shit. Well, there you go. <laughs> what comes before seven? Six. There we go. That's your name now. Huh. Let's make sure what I'm supposed to do here. I can't bring the hammer to this side. Oh, wait. Can I open this? <laughs> hey. <gasps> uh, no. The DLC character is called Seven? Really? What am I missing here? Maybe if I fall or just... Oh, maybe, maybe I just gotta fall from here.
Oh god damn it, this lady again! Fuck! How did you get over here? Hey, Six, can you snap her neck too? Playing your piano. Okay, I gotta make my way back now. Can't go back that way. Oh, here we go, here we go. So I'm trying to grab this, but I have to grab from this side. Wait for it. Yeah, don't uh don't even post fake uh stuff uh uh true reactor. All right. Yeah. Chill guys. Don't even post like fake spoilers for shit, all right? Cuz I mean I mean if I see shit like that, I'm not I'm not going to know. So I'm going to I'm going to ban you. <laughs> so Me, one of the other bots will either time you out or ban you, so. so don't go, uh, don't go posting shit like that. Lay's neck went even further. Fuck you, children. Stretchy neck. I'm fine. Can we drop out here, please? Oh, she cold. Get out of the rain. But also keep an eye out for any hats. Is that a hat? No. Nope. It's, it's a rock.
We still are now. Picturesque. I'd be like, yeah, no, nope, not worth it. <laughs> These kids are fucking. They have no fear. Seriously. They are fucking unfazed by this shit. Oh, that's cool looking, that water effect. Still haven't figured out what happened to the people here and why they're closed around like that. Sweaty palms of the game. That is very appropriate. I think I have to close the lid. Oh, I do. Just push it forward. Yep. There we go. Clever. you there we are so much rain ah <laughs> <gasps> paper. Is that a paper hat? Mine. Oh, no, it isn't. It's just a paper boat. Ch child attained. I was thinking, can I put this down here and then I get a Stephen King reference? It pokes his head out. Hey there. Ah! Hi, well, hiya, Georgie. I was really expecting that. I can't seem to... I can't seem to get the boat to go down there, though. That would be actually a really cute Easter egg. Hiya, Georgie. Is that your coat? Six coat attained. She is now six once again. In case you didn't realize, true colors. That was the achievement. Now the rain, now the rain will not bother her. Guys, when we started last game, did she already have her raincoat? How did the first game start? I don't even remember. She did? She already had it? That's why I was thinking this could be in the past. Yeah. It would make sense, too, because like I said, she was like, a, she attained demon power. She started waking up in the mall, right? That's why it does kind of lead me to believe that this is like a, a prequel. 
Which makes me kind of worried this thing's going to happen to my character by the end of this. Or at least something to get us separated. Because, like, she should have the power of, like, a god. And be, like, just, like, one-shotting these guys. She's like, hey. Hey, model, look what I can do. <sighs> yes. <gasps> Is that a new hat? Nope. Come on, it's gonna be a hat in here for me. Just my size. Can I ring this bell? Yes. Yes. Give me an achievement. <laughs> ring, ring. Apparently not. Make sure there's nothing high behind this door. Nope. Just seem putting some cheeky shit back there. Back in the rain we go. Thank you, six. Hat, too big. It's just you and me, girl. We got this. Now you've got your ring code. Nothing can stop us. Is that a microwave? Hell yeah, it is. Wee ow. Uh, Alexander Knickerbottom, thanks for the five, man. I like the fact that Six got a raincoat just after it had a paper boat in her hands next to a drain pot. I know, right? It's perfect. I guess maybe that, I guess that could still be a, an it reference, but I think it would be really funny if you'd like, if you managed to put the, put the boat in the water and it went down to the gutter and then just said, hey, Georgie, <laughs> like that would have been really cute. They didn't have to, didn't have to put like a eyes or anything. Just, just have like, just have the boat, the boat go down there and have an achievement immediately pop up. Go, hey, Georgie. Unless they missed it. Hi, RB. It's good. It's good. There are a few, uh, few moments where the game got a little finicky. A little, a little buggy. Some spots. Especially with the en enemy detection where the enemy can just like see you through walls. But it's still fun. So good. And very pretty. We are protecting the babies. From all the murder, murderous things in this world. And there's a lot of it. Even the other kids are murderous in this game. That aren't us. <laughs> uh, Mata's pissed. Fuck. Giblets. Yeah, it was a creepy teacher with a giant penis like neck. Uh. Thanks, Six. That, uh, that could have ended badly. 
<laughs> Hello! Uh, true art. Uh, true reactor. Thank you. That's right. Never trust a long neck t shirt. That's the lesson to be learned from this. God, I almost did the same stupid thing again. I'm holding, I'm holding the wrong button. That's the, also the other thing. I keep holding square. There we go. Yeah, six leading the way. She feels strong with this jacket. The jacket gives her power. Thank you, conveniently placed hospital beds. Is that something? Oh, yeah. I got a fuse. Here we are. Take these gauze with me. Oh God. Ah, my gauze. No, pull. Yeah, I'm trying to pull. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I know these kids are unfazed by any, are by, unfazed by everything. So I mean, these kids just like have no fear. I'd be shitting my pants right now. I'd be like, nope, I can't go on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live here now. Oh sweet, a flashlight. So long as this turned into a a regular horror game. B to use flashlight. Oh dope. Oh fuck. That means now we're going through. Oh, I spy with my little eye. I see you, chat. I see you, penguins. I see you. Uh oh. Don't like where this is going. Run a pyramid heading there. Oops. <gasps> hey, kid. Give me your power. Ugh. Absorb. See some light and shadows here. The way the light actually like bounces off objects. Here's a cup. I found a new hat in a while. If I didn't miss any, another probably did. Really been trying so hard to. Miss any of the 
All the other yeah, goodies here. Oh, fuck. I hear some shit. All right. See ya. World ends with bread. Have a good one, man. Thanks for joining us tonight. So I reminded of the... Oh, hey. Hey. Six. You want a soda? Here you go. That's for you. That's for me. Cheers. Now pick it up. Pick up the soda. That's yours. I how we can get. Hunger! <laughs> I got achievement! Uh, actually, I think this might be food. Or juice or something. I don't know. As soon as, as, soon as I got achievement, it said hunger. Apparently, we do not need to eat. Uh-oh. Ah, TV! Uh, uh, come on, Mono! Uh. I gotta use my Mono powers! Ah! Thou art I, art thou I, I art, thou art, I. Damn it, I won. I was almost there. This better be dead dolls. Ah, uh, I don't know. Seem to be. Six is like, what the fuck? I thought I had demon power. Uh, truth. Thanks for 100 bits. Hey, thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Thanks for uh, stopping by and uh, hanging out at the stream. Have a good night, man. Wait, is that something? I don't think so. Oh, I fell off. Oh, I see. We gotta. So that's where I need to go. I see. I, have, I gotta. I have to get uh, two more uh, uh, plugs to put in. Oh, okay, okay. I guess we're going this way. Oh, okay. I don't think we want to go in there. Let's go in there. Ah. High five. <laughs> the thing shuts. His six is like, die! Ah! Bad end. Can I actually get her to come in here? Maybe some dark shit. You could put her. 26. I got an achievement. 
Oh, I must have said her. Oh, I must have said her name 26 times or something. Or called for her 26 times. And I got an achievement. But dark shit. You can actually lure her in there and like light up. up and be like, what the fuck? Can't see. Uh, okay, so we got... Wow, I could... What the... I was all the way over there? Wow, I go really far back here. Okay. Uh, clearly not anything to do down here at the moment. Do I find something I want to light on fire? Yeah. Murder the protagonist in the first game and then get her, get her demon power. Assuming this is actually a pre a sequel, which it looking like it isn't. Hey, a bear. A bear's got the key. <laughs> Why do we x-ray a stuffed bear? Oh, God, this is going to be funny. Look at this. What I got going on inside here? Whoa. Whoa. Cool. Also, ow. Let's do it again. Whoa. Why just going right through that shit? Well, hi there! I'm... I'm... Uh, Dallas the dog! And I love you! I want to be your best friend! Woo-hoo! Oh, she's got a duck while I'm holding the thing. That's so funny. She's like, I'm helping! I'm contributing! All right, so this probably has the... I wonder, if all, I wonder if they all have something inside of them, potentially. Is there something in the duck? Is there actually nothing in this bear? I think it's something in the duck. You picked right, apparently. Weird. It's not the... I thought it was a bear over there. Yeah, on the, on the thing over there. Showed a bear. Now suddenly we can't see the object. What? Fuck it. I'm going to take all this shit with me. I'm going to take all these downstairs with us. Or eye symbolism. Any hats in here? Oh, hey. <gasps> yes! It's my Freddy Fazbear hat! Half hat. I've gotten half the hats. All right. Freaky. Ow. So we'll make a fine addition to my collection. God damn it. 
it's in this one. I can hear it when I knock it over. Yep. So this uh, ain't hurt in hers as well though. So take the duck with with us. Take the duck and we're taking this thing. Hit. Ugh. Fuck it. I'm gonna take all this shit. We're gonna burn it and burn all alive. Just in case. Come on, little stuffed animal friends. I'm gonna set you on fire. FNAF fucked me up. Can't have you motherfuckers coming to life. Can't risk it. Woo! Toy Story. This is the bad end of Toy Story 3 where they didn't come out in time to save them. Anything else I want to set on fire? You want to you want to die today too, Mr. Monkey? Can I pick this thing up? I can. Anything in here? Whoa, hey! It's alive! I don't know. I, don't know. Like, I see shiny pieces, but I don't know if they're actually anything or not. <laughs> Jesus. I can't get the monkey to make sounds. Come on, monkey. Uh, I guess it's just it's insides that don't do anything, but I'm taking it with me anyway. We're going to burn everything. Literally everything. Get in there. Where did the, where that other dude go? There we go. Hey, crawl underneath back here. <laughs> this is coming too. We're gonna burn it all, burn it to the ground. Yeah. All right. All right, I'll crawl out of there now. Down we go. It <laughs> gets weighed down by so many toys. <laughs> It tried to run away, just like in Toy Story. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and burn literally everything. No, no, no! Don't, 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 don't trigger that fucking elevator. Six. We got we got three years in there too. Let's, come on, come on, six. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't kill me! Don't kill me! Ah! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up and get back in there, dickhead! Shut up! Just get back in there! Fuck back in there! He's staying here! Whoa! He's like, ah! Yeah, see? Hey, you're getting it now. Yeah, there you go. That's okay. This goes back here. Where'd the other one go? I fell out. Physics. Ah, okay. No, don't go in there, too. It's going to get a little toasty. Don't get in the elevator, please. No, 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 no. Damn it. Damn it, six. They're trying to. He's stuck his head out like. Hey! What are you doing, little girl? Damn these no button elevators. These contact sensitive elevators. I'm going to burn all these toys. It's the only way to be sure they don't come back ever again. They can't hurt anyone anymore. No, don't, don't fucking no! Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! God damn it! Six, I swear to God. 
Terry got stuck at the door. <laughs> I was like, oh, let's go. Oh, oh love. Okay, you get in there too. No toy left behind. All right. Let's reenact the actual ending of Toy Story 3, everyone. Here we go. Oh! Holy shit. Toys for kids. I got a Damn, I got an achievement for that. Toys are for kids. Because I murdered all the toys. You actually heard the donkey in there go. Ah! Ah! Damn, some dark shit. Well, here's what's left of it. All the other toys are dead too. You monster. I'm actually curious. It was it an achievement for actually specifically lighting all of them on fire? It just says there you'll be much warmer now. I think I think I just was just forgetting the key in general. <clears throat> you'll be much warmer now. Yes. Good. Wait. Can I, can I pick this up? No. Okay, got a key. I don't even know if I've come across the door yet. Oh, there it is. So, oh, it's gonna be to probably activate the switches, right? Yeah. Anything over here? You better not be alive. Oh, another one. Another shoe. strength goes my strength grows stronger That dick. Oh, fuck. I see you, dickhead. Oh, fuck you! Blow yourself up, man.
<gasps> oh, fuck. Hands can climb. Ah! Ah! Huh. It's a hand looking up when it doesn't have eyes. Why is a lot of these? Why is a lot of things happening in this game? Ah, oh, shit. That hand's pissed. Ah, oh, fuck. He's... He wants me. Ah. Uh... He wants to pinch my cheeks. back eh, oh, I curls up like a spider fuck you I am king of the hands now sick of this shit okay make sure it's dead oh one more for good measure out of here. Six, where'd you go? What you doing? Just fucking around with the hand there. Cracking the, cracking the fingers. Good. Make sure it stays dead that way. All right. Wait, was this here the whole time? Pick it up. Oh, it's dead. I guess. It's a bug? You got what I was fighting? Yeah, I can't actually pick it up. It won't let me. Yeah, it's definitely a glitch. Pretty sure it's not supposed to be there. Get that glitch too. I think it's a bug. Okay. <laughs> so you don't I'm like... Pretty sure that was not there before. We'll just skip whatever the next section is entirely. Is that corn? It is. Six, you want some corn? Corn. Ooh. 
Ooh, the electric chair. Uh, pop you in there. Actually, that'll probably be how I go to the one side, and that's going to be how uh, I get out, is that six will be on this side and probably let me let me out that way. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, fuck. Hey, bro. Oh, the light? Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Fuck this shit, man. This is the same shit that we did back in that damn FNAF fan game. You guys remember that one? In the basement? The fucking basement area. And when you get caught, it's the loudest fucking sound. I hated that one. I fucking hated that one. Stay right the fuck there. Sorry, red light, green light. Red light, dead light. Oh, God. dudes yeah fucking man that, that that level was awful I hated it so much oh god Stay right the fuck there. I'm looking at you. Freaky. This is what nightmares really are made of. Hence, little nightmare nightmares. Fuck. Mom, can you pick me up? Don't let me out. Let me out. Basically, you know, just like a little thing like that really can like, oh, God. The thing about the thing about the basement area was I don't even think I had a flashlight in the the FNAF one. I think it was just like pitch black except for a little area around you, so you just see them come from the darkness. It was oh God, I hated that one. And the the noise they got when they got you was so loud. Oh, cheese. <clears throat> uh, 
I had a distinctive feeling. Nope. Stay right the fuck there. Stay there. Ah! No! Come on, grab it! Oh, that sucks, dude. Damn it. Fuck. Lights. Don't drop the soap. Ah. That <laughs> slid. Some good slope physics. Yeah, sure was. The way, where's the left go? Secret must clean daddy. Shut up and give me your power. I'm just gonna hop in this tub. Those testicles could be, who knows? A lot of things, a lot of gross shit. Oh god, this motherfucker is going to start wheel wheelchairing at me. Oh, I think that's the way out right there. Don't got anything on this side though. Can't move. I see Cloverfield. Um, what? Oh, I'm gonna need. I need soap for something, don't I? Oh wait, or maybe the box?
have to use the yeah i know i'm trying to move it but i can't clean yourself up man <laughs> Use the soap on the wheels? I mean, I... Maybe? Seems a little... Oh, no, I can't grab it. I put it in the one spot. I cannot reach it. All right. <clears throat> Gotta scrub it up, dub. think so. I have to drag that box through the door? Can't move this one, but I can't move the other one. Does the switch do anything else? Oh, it does. Oh. <gasps> Fuck! That made me jump. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's just, he was weighing it down. The lights were, all the lights are on. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, no. Fuck this area, man. Oh, God. to be, dude. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. I know I'm... I know I'm super cool and you want my autograph, but come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stay back. Back, you cannibals. Back. Fuck! That's getting crazy! There's a fucking ton of them. Bitches. You better get me the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, see, this is this is what I've been dealing with, Six. What well, you've just been sitting out here playing tic-tac-toe, tic-tac-toe on the wall. Man, fuck this place. I'm out. Yeah, fuck this. spring to life throw the balls to the mannequins oh my god really is that actually oh hey she's carrying hers that's cute is that actually something uh. 
Mr. Achievement, fuck you. I'm going back. Yeah, the hands will still be there. <gasps> no, they're gone. Wait, no, they're not. Here, catch. Me medicine ball. Hey, all right. Let's do it again. Yeah. They're my friends now. I think I heard the, heard the fake, uh, thing over here. M maybe. She know, and just seemed to have disappeared. It was cute. I like that she grabbed the other one though. Like basically following your lead. Bugaboo, thanks for 100 bits, bud. <laughs> Took you three days to pass this part. Yeah, it's pretty freaky. It's just like, are you done yet? Hurry the fuck up! Feeling good about this shit. Oh, God damn it. Pick it up, pick it up. Oh, that's not, oh no, no, the pipe's over here. Thought that was the pipe I need to pick up. Shit open. I'll fight him up. Oh, fuck. Stop dodging me, dickhead. Come on. 
Come on, motherfucker. Fuck you. Next time, Six, I get to pull the wood and you get to fight him off. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Am I in Clayface's den? Ow. What the hell? What in the fuck is that? What in the fuck? Big fat dude. He's like, yes. Must make more. <laughs> Must build a new doll. Yes. So he's the one who's been putting these things together, huh? But okay. Just gotta wait till it looks to the right or something. Yeah. checkpoint here god damn it I need to grab a toy to open the door damn I almost died 50 times holy shit it's a lot more than I thought of oh no come on man why isn't my guy moving I'm trying to move forward. Is there something in my way? I was trying to move to the next bed, but I can't move. Checking on the condition of all the different dolls or whatever. How many times did I die the first time? I'm not sure if I actually kept a count of it. Okay, get the get, I gotta grab the thing that doesn't make any noise.
Oh my god. God damn it. Oh, thank fuck. Thank you fuck. They gotta hide under here. Bro, you just do, not give a shit about six. This is Last of Us all over again, where they're like, they don't give a crap about your partner. Just you. It does grudge out monster designs. It really does. Six is like, loo, 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 loo. Oh. Six master of stealth. Master of not giving a fuck. No, it would be frustrating. I know. It's just I just find it funny, honestly. If like if they just yeah, if she could die and need an like, escort her or something like that, but. It's a similar thing to what The Last of Us did. Where it's just like, well, we're just going to make him basically invisible to the enemy so it doesn't piss you off. If it is a bit immersion breaking. Oh, it's in the way. There's the key. I got that was at a slight incline. in here now no all right cool is there a hat here is there actually a hat in there was there a hat back in the room I was just in There, are, there was? Okay, hold on. Send me back. Shit. I 
It's just like, no, you don't go back. He's six like, what the fuck are you doing? See anything? Unless it's uh, it's not like this or something. Can I open these? Try to. Open? Oh, maybe so. No, maybe I can open one of these. Here we go. Yahtzee. Uh, Naya likes Mountain Six with five twenty-five. Naya. I was actually going to have pleasant dreams tonight. And the next few nights, uh, about the penis neck lady. Also, is he considering to make the penis neck lady Nico's new dirty whore? Why or why not? I don't think so. I think it's just she's a little too lewd and rude for me, Naya. Uh, will I have pleasant dreams? Probably not. Probably not after all this. Uh, mummy head. Sneaky one. We'll have little nightmares. Waka waka. <laughs> She's like, you look different. Yeah, I just, I got to put on every new hat I get. It's just how I work. Okay. Oh. You know, lift me up. Oh, just push. Come on. What the? Oh, the guy's freaking out. Damn it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Grab the edge. What are you doing? What, I missed, did I miss a few demon children or something? You're drunk, Sam. Just be careful. I'll go driving or anything. Just stay here and watch my dumb stream. Ugh, hey, 
I see you, spark plug. I missed hats that I won't be able to get again. So don't worry. Isn't that the thing I am worried about or should be worried about? Eighteen demon children. Okay. This guy's very hygienic. There's that. How the fuck am I gonna get over there? He's cutting into pieces. Wash your hands. What the fuck? Who the heck is this? I'm gonna pull the switch. Is this dad or some shit? Gotta pull the plug. It's the only way. He's like, no! He's coming. Fucking dead. Here we go! No! Time to get this shit. Murder. He's like, live, damn you, live. Oh, nice jump off the leg there. trying to do CPR on him or something. He cares about his patients in his own crazy way. Oh, fuck. Open. <gasps> Run! fast hi no way kid man I gotta run motherfucker he knows I'm here 
just wants my dumb ass dead. guys no you must die oh time to get fun look at this guy's crazy fucking mouth open the door i got pulled fuck i didn't realize i had a pull i was waiting i thought i was just waiting for her shit oh damn it i have to do it all over oh wait no we're fine Get in there. Oh God. This is the fastest I can go. Burn him. Die, demon. Stay warm by the fire, Six. <laughs> yes, good. Good. Let me go back in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to try and see what happened. <laughs> I just wanted to say I mean go <laughs> Why? Because I just had to say I was like would I just just, just immediately die while I turn to ash and I just go <laughs> Got a little too warm by that fire I want to see if I can get back in there and see his dead lifeless body turn to ash Kentucky Fried Fat Guy I like how we're murdering everybody at the end of this. Except for the teacher. The teacher survived. I was hoping I like cut the teacher's neck off or some shit. Like get guilty to slice his like, ah! Hospitalized. That was true. If I wear my rain cap, it will match it. I didn't think about that. We match. Cute. Twinsies. For you and one for me. Did I miss a hat again? run over here it's long gone oh where was it
Rip hat. He was in the morgue room? Shit. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, if you want, you guys could let me know if I'm about to leave an area and I'm, like, not going to get it. That's fine. I also missed a hat at the hunter's house at the very beginning, really. Oops. Uh... Interesting. I, I got a hat at the hunter's house, but I guess it was a. Di I guess there must have been a second one there. Where are we even going? It's a good question. A second. Can I see how these checkpoints are set up? Chapter selection. Oh, there you go. Glitches room. Oh, fuck. I missed a fuck ton of glitches back here. Look at this. There's three here. Wait, I got all the hats. No, I didn't. I, I got them all. All the hats, you liar. I definitely missed some glitches. Yeah, I was like, I did get a, I did get a hat. Yeah, the hat, the hat I got at the hunter's house was this one. Gnome hat is a secret hat? What? No, this is... I don't know. I think you guys are full of shit. You guys are lying to me. I guess I'm not getting the secret ending. Was it the triangle hat? Like, this was like the pyramid man hat or some shit? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. You guys are full of shit. Um, I just missed the Monaco hat. Uh, all right, guys. I'm going to take a quick second to stretch my legs and grab myself a little snacky do. I'm also going to take Bernie out real quick to let her uh, go tinkle. Uh, uh, but in the meantime, I will uh, leave you guys some good music to play or good music to listen to. Oh. All right. Give me just a second. I'm uh, so I'm gonna go uh, take Bernie out and then I'm gonna come back drop her back off again then go back and grab a snack so uh, I'll turn on the Bernie break time thing just, but uh, I will have to take her away here in a second so uh, don't go anywhere guys I'll be back shortly
I am back. I've got snacks. Got me some rich crackers, because of course I do. As well as an assorted uh, number of sliced cheese from that Costco big pack they have. Got some Gouda. Some Vardy. Some Swiss. And some cheddar. Good. And I got me a, a blueberry body drink. It's a good day. Okay, sounds good, Al. Thanks, man. Okay. Holy fuck! Zero two Karibo, there's the five gift subs, dude. Holy shit! Thank you for the uh, thank you for just coming in here and just gunning down five, 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 four defenseless penguins. Uh oh, there's a bug on my wall. There is a bug on my wall, and I'm gonna get him. He's rather large and very in charge. I'm gonna end that. Hold on a second. Assuming I can reach him, okay. He's in a weird spot here. Come. I got him. I did it. We're safe now, Vaz. Shirt. There we go. I've seen these bugs before. I don't know exactly what they are, though. They're usually bugs that you tend to see, like, in a bathroom. They're not centipedes, but they're, like, sort of similar. They kind of, like, a hooked back or something. They're relatively long, usually about, like... They're, like, kind of longish, and then they have, like... They're, like, maybe, like, this big. I don't know what they are. Silverfish? Scorpion? Maybe a silverfish? Silver... F oh, wait, is... Uh, oh, I think you actually might be right. I think it might be a silverfish. Why do they call it silverfish? Yeah, I think that might be it. Like a weird little spiky back. Yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, yes, yeah, definitely a scorpion. All right, let's get back to the game. <laughs> so fish are cute. I mean, they're, it's like, uh, I don't know. They're not the, they're not the nastiest of them. I, I think centipedes are way grosser.
<laughs> I make Gonta sad. I make, well, like I make Gonta pissed. Don't say I come out and murder my ass. You are bark friends. You must die now. So I bust stop. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Creepy. So I hit the ground and start twitching, I think. Shit. Almost dropped around my head. I hear another one of those little, little demon children nearby. That stick insects just vibing. I've noticed they actually kind of make a sound as you get closer to them. The fuck is this techno music playing? So I'm on the set of Stranger Things. You're totally fine with bugs as long as you can't see them. As long as I pretend they do not exist. What in the shit? Uh. That man even see anything? What? What in the fuck? Me love TV so much. Wow, you really do, don't you? He thought that girl on TV was so cute. He just had to just had to see her up close. Touch his butt. Eh. <laughs> it's that Japanese thing where you stick the fingers like Whoa. Rat the pooper. Oh, that's not a TV. That's what it is, I think, that I'm hearing. It's weird, almost techno sound. It's like. Doo -doo 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 <laughs> Six is like, ah, loser. Got him. Got him. Sir, are you okay? He's, is he watching his neighbor's porn? His cable? Dude. What did I think would happen? I was like, maybe these guys don't kill me. No, they definitely do. They have like no face. This is your advisory to read a book every day. Otherwise, this might happen to you. TV. Man, these people are all fucked up, aren't they? Jesus. Find like not one adult here that's not fucked up. Not too much to ask for. <laughs> they just like me. Oh. This is my jam, baby. I 
Hey, dude. Oh, he's watching TV in his tub. Damn. What a, what a champ. Gotta be really funny if as you walked out, you just hear him like get electrocuted. Like, ah! They got vibing as hell. Some people say you can't, you can't jack off and watch porn in the shower. Well, I'll show them. This is exactly why Steve Jobs made these water resistant phones. <laughs> Weak mindset. Up we go. <laughs> you shouldn't though. Yeah, I wouldn't I would not risk that. <laughs> water resistant does not mean waterproof. Uh okay, keep going. Or not. Oh. Uh. Oh, we can, we can jump out, I say. Uh, the hell just fell. Oh. <gasps> Was that six? Did I just see six go? Whoa! And then she's like teleport up there. Six died. Oh, wait, she's fine. I think that was her. I saw something fall. I thought it was like. What small object was that? Oh, God, it's her. It's six. You crazy girl. She dead. She's fine. I told you guys at the end of the first game, she became literally a god. So if this game's a sequel, she's still a god. That's my uh, logic, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> if it's a prequel, then I guess she was always a god. And all and all times I died in the first game was just her playing dead. <laughs> She's fine. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Six back up. Assuming she can get over here. She's stuck there forever now. Definitely had quite a few bugs. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Come on. That's a lot of demon children. I'm still missing them. Man, I've been really trying to keep an eye out for them, but some of them are very well hidden. Well, that fucking sucks. Shit. It's because six jumped off with me for whatever reason. 
Stay there. Thank you. That time she didn't do it. Yeah, this game has been quite glitchy. I don't know if I remember the first game having that, but then again, I'm not sure if I played the first one immediately when it came out. I think it, I think it might have been a while after. Good, good six. She's like, let me in, let me in. All right, you are free. the elevator? I guess it does. Okay, well, we're up here now, so what do we do next? Just go over here? No. Six, where do you want to go, girl? Just like hanging out here. Come on. Go through the window? Well, we're up here now. Not grab her hand. Oh wait. Okay. Wasn't quite what I was going for, but okay. Okay, I can grab your hand now. I cannot pull you into the elevator. What am I doing? She's not gonna hold my hand. There's like nowhere to go. Gotta go back this way? For some reason? Doesn't seem like to be the right thing to do, but... You'll figure it out? Okay, There's, there isn't... It's not like this game glitched. All right. As long as it's not like that. Uh, all right. Stay here. I'm gonna go back down. Maybe there's something back here, though. Was there an area to the left there? She knew, she knew what to do there. She was like, all right, ready to go. It's like ready, set, go.
I had a feeling this was another demon child. A lot of them seem to be hidden in like little secret rooms by tunnels or something. Is that a crow jammed in a jar? Why would you do that? Mr. Crow, are you okay? I think he's all right. Hell yeah, Ritz and cheese crackers with a ham or turkey or something. I didn't have any uh, right now though. I ate it all. Cause I have this snack so relatively consistently. Oh, it's so good. You mix up the cheese and stuff too sometimes, you know? If you want to spice it up, just switch up the cheese. I feel like I never get, like, I never get seem to get rip tired of Ritz crackers. I don't know. Oh God. Careful, dude. Hey, morning, you batter, the batters. Whoa. <laughs> A chromatic aberration there for a second. All right, lift me up. I'm gonna send you over there. Oh, God damn it. This shit again. Holy fuck. I like it. They put those wooden planks there to give you a better idea of where she's standing. Give you a better chance of depth there. That's a good indicator. Going up. One is tall, one is strong. Uh-oh. Uh. I think I might need to run. over there like she's like she's fine she didn't die she's fine i'm fine uh where we're we going oh can we push this yes <laughs> she didn't die she's, she's totally fine because she's a bitch she's a god i told you
Ah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Every man for himself, fuck you. Oh wait, I'm alive! I was totally fine. She's dead though. Oh wait, no, she's fine. Hey, what's up, girl? Into the void! Friend. We still friend. Man, fuck you. You want me to die, dickhead? No, I was, I was coming back. Really, I was just going to get help. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, I lost my flashlight. Her spine is made of steel. Got adamantium bones. Cran. Who keeps drawing all these eyes? Was it you? Was it you six? I think she was drawing like her eyes on the floor of her her cell there. You've been here before. Damn! All the let all the mail stuck in the door. I didn't do shit. Oh fuck! Here we go again. My turn. Uh, my turn to do some cool shit. Must kill. Bad cable. Netflix is only way forward. Ah, ah, gotta go deeper. Ah, ah, deeper still. Ah. I think, I, might, I think I might be slowly getting closer to the door here. Six, don't stop me. I must reach the eye. The eye of Sauron. I am. I'm getting close to the door every time. Oh, fuck it. No, I'm about to reach the door, bitch. Let me in. The fuck? Slender? Whoa! The fuck, man? She's getting weird. She's getting weird. Give me your hand! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. I didn't think I just set him free. Slenderman is home. Oh, my God. It really is. Oh, that's a problem. Come, boy. Uh-oh. I guess you're going left. I zigged when I should have zagged. Really should have left well enough alone. Damn it. That's right, use your bullshit powers. You stole my spot. Ah! Why did I do that? Not hide under the bed. I just went, I went to where she was. I was thinking, oh, that's the hiding spot. But obviously, she took off of the bed. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, scoot over, Six, come on. 
<laughs> Scoot over. Hide in the best spot. Hey there. Would you like to buy some Geico insurance? Ah, uh, no. Hello there. Suddenly I give a shit about six. Oh no. Oh no. Her body got stolen and left her dead lifeless soul behind. This must be what was happening to all the other kids. No. Bad end. She turned to a demon baby. Oh no. I gotta get my girlfriend back again. This must have been what was happening to the kids before. It was fucking weird Slender Man coming out of the TV and doing the static. Seriously, that was very Slender Man looking. Not just the way he looked, but the static and everything. Attacking the kids? Like shit, dude. I'm sorry, man. I will steal you, girl. See ya, bitch. Damn it. Slender, dude. Come on. He's like, nobody talks about me anymore. I feel very left out. I got to go in the TV. I got to get her back. Let me in. Whoa. Holy shit, that was wild. I think I'm starting to believe in my powers here. I'm, I'm learning to control them. I missed my flashlight, dude. Learn to control my awesome powers. So I believe in the heart of the cards. That's what Six always taught me. That's what she always said to me. I did not! Also, Persona 4 taught me to jump into televisions. <laughs> okay. He's got at least somewhere good, right? At some point. Oh, hey. Hey, we're back. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Uh, okay, other way. Got to use the television power. That's right. Dachi told me the only way to kill somebody is throwing him in a television. This is for you, Adachi. Adachi, I feel like at this point, is like, is so like, like everyone's played Persona 4 at this point. Adachi's basically become like the equivalent of Sephiroth killing Aerith in Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> like, everyone just kind of knows it by this point, you know? It's like, yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sephiroth does what? <laughs> Oops. Damn it! Fuck you, Nico! I was gonna get around to playing that game eventually! <laughs> I 
Earth gets killed. <laughs> Got the penguins. You know, she might not. She might not anymore. What Final Fantasy VII remake is gone? It'd be hilarious. Cloud gets killed or something instead. But Aerith lives, and she becomes, and she wields his Buster Sword and starts kicking ass. Damn, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be totally down for that. Oh. I have remote ability. I have, I have found the TV remote. Apparently, it's going to control multiple TVs. I guess. <laughs> nah, this shell sucks. Oh, I, I need something to, I need, I need like a box or something underneath this. Actually, I think it's, that's going to be the, the transport point, I bet. Oh, hey. <gasps> oh, dope. Hey, hey, motherfucker. I'm a cop. I'm a motherfucking cop. Stop in the name of the law. Six. Yeah, I'm a cop. You will respect my authority. Slender man. Uh, so, okay. If there's two per area, it means we get one, I get one more here at this, well, potentially. It means there's potentially two more areas after this. Unless there's three in like one area. Respect my authority. Yeah, I do kind of miss my flashlight, though. Being able to illuminate was, uh, convenient. Okay, now, I feel like this is probably going to take me back to where I just came from, but... I didn't really get anything here. Is there anything to grab? It did. Oh! There we go. Shut up, I didn't miss the gnome hat. According to the thing game, I did not get it. There's only two hats left you can get in game to get an achievement. Uh one to find one to find left. Other for being for beating the game. Other hats are tied to DLCs and pre-orders. Oh, really? Damn, okay. Am I close to the end of the game? Missed the gnome hat. Shut up. I don't believe you. Wait a minute. Is, is, is that even like... It's just like could be a gnome hat. You might not be lying. Yeah, I'm actually close. Really? Yeah, this game's still pretty short. Even with compared to the other one. We get an hour or two left, so yeah. Yeah, this game's short just like the other was. Uh... Is there something over here? Pretty sure we cannot jump that. Uh! I see this thing. Can I push it? Oh, I can. There we go. It wasn't really illuminated, so I was I kind of was thinking, well, usually the things that you really need are like relatively well illuminated. All right. Ah. Monostrock. 
almost almost as strong as six. Ooh, look at this convenient <laughs> this convenient clothesline zipline. Hope this thing can support my weight. Hello. I can go back. Oh, I can. Oh, there's totally a secret out here. Come on. There has to be a secret child out here. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, baby. I fucking knew it. Get inside me. I knew it. Hey, isn't that the queen lady? Isn't this the lady that, uh, that six kills at the end of the first game? The doll. <laughs> Fuck you. I think it is. <gasps> Unladylike. I got an achievement. Dope. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this would be a this would be a prequel then. Very likely. Maybe we'll learn at the very end. She'll end up right where she was at the start of the first game. Oh really? If I collected them all, that would have been the last glitch child? Really? So there's no more after this? Kind of surprising. Damn, there's a shit ton of these of these glitch children. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, never mind. Stay. Watch the TV. It's fine. Watch TV. It's fine. There's a postcard scene you get for getting them all? Really? Oh, that's dope. No, I definitely did not get them all. <laughs> all right. We already went and checked. I I've missed quite a few. Man. Do not take away uh, grandma's TV. She gets a little cranky. Oh boy. Oh, she got drawn to the other TV. <laughs> Wet eating noises. Sorry about that. My TV! She kind of face pressed up against the window like... Arr! He's pissed. Very angry. He did not like that. TV from here. Oh, 
Oh, no, I can. You just have to be super fucking close to the edge. Oh, shit. Get fucked. I don't know if I can find his dead body anywhere. Casual murder. Sayonara, loser. Thank you for killing me earlier. Do not wish to join him. Don't do it, dude. You guys got so much to live for. Be free. The eye of Sauron. Be free. That's right. There's always a man. There's always a... There's always a... A lighthouse, there's always a city. Fuck me then. Look carefully into the TV. Can I see it? I can see dick. Ah! Catch me! I gotta go out the window. Fuck you, TV. You suck. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> it's kind of a funny death, though. I'm not gonna lie. That <laughs> bulk. Oh god. Thank God they didn't just make it worse somehow. I spy a lever. Oh god. Oh, I was like, what did I do? Oh, death. How'd I do that? All right, see where we're going with this. Let's go say hi to my new friend here. Who's going to be super pissed when I take away his. His fucking HBO Max. Hey, buddy. Hi. Get fucked. 
That'd be funny if I could, if I could, if I could bounce off of him like a, <laughs> like I could, I could bounce off him like Polar from fucking Crash Bandicoot, like boom, boom. Start getting Wumpa fruit from him. That's right, the electric slide. Yes, yeah, right, tea back his ass. <laughs> Going down. Ow. <laughs> I have killed so many adults in this game. It's all right, fuck him. All right, see the box and an eye. Open the suitcase? Well, one of the ones back here? Oh. <gasps> oh. Here. Post industrial. Got achievement. Dope. I was hoping he'd drop a hat on me. <laughs> here we go, young man. Thank you. Now here's your hat. Gives me the gnome hat. are very important. Oh, is this shit where I gotta get out of the elevator again before it closes all the way, maybe? I cannot take the box in there because this does not open all the way. Oh, no, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. Got to time this right, though. Oh, I timed it perfectly. Kind of. 
Oh, I gotta get I gotta get to the floor. Fucking hell. I gotta get to the, I gotta get to the floor below it. The floor that it's not stopping on. Bunny. Far. I can't tell how far it is. Do I need to jump on the soap or some shit? There we go. I was like, there's nowhere else for me to go. I have to be in here. There's some depth perception shit right here. Fuck you, come on, man. You gotta cut it as close to the edge of that toilet as you can, as far as you can tell. There we go. Dude, come on, please. jump to the drive wait seriously oh i can i thought it was too far no, no i gotta get, get wait I get back in my tub i gotta be clean in case i could bar nope I wasn't even bothering you, lady. Come on. Let me borrow your stool, you bitch. I honestly did not even see that dry spot there. Right, you're happy now. See you, Pres. Oh, hello. Turn off their TV, get just piss them the shit off.
And there's just someone do it that way before? Really? Nope. Normally you have to kill her? Oh, interesting. Oh, kill her with the electricity. Right. Makes sense. I'm going the mercy route. That's how you get this. That's how you get the secret ending with the. Not with the gnome hat, but by, mer by, by mercy. Those other guys that I killed don't count. Actually, Nico, you have to get the, you have to, you have to spare all your enemies and also get the gnome hat. Fuck. More electricity. Mr. Hi there, Mr. Bo Hey, little buddy. What do you think you're doing there? Oh, my God. Is there a hat in here? I was thinking there might be. I was like, this feels like a place that might have a hat. have to reset from the checkpoint I can't just pull the cable out and run backward up the stairs if I pull the cable out it turns the electricity off and then I can go back upstairs all right oh I need the trolley Welp. Oh, well. I right, see you, Lise. Not the completionist run. Let's see if I can see it in here. Ah. Uh. Uh, where is it? Is that it up there? It's so fucking dark in here. It's in the upper left corner of the room. So it is. It's, it's that thing on top of the package. Yeah. It's that thing. Wait. Where, where I just was? Yep. 
Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Oh, well. We tried. They don't need it anymore. Oh, TV's not plugged in. Actually. I could run up the the railing. Can I move this cart? See a cable? Is that the... Does that actually turn the TV on? I think it does. I think I have to turn the, turn the electricity back on and then come back. Now the cart's there, I can get to that spot. Yeah. What? For whatever reason, he just doesn't want to pull himself up here. So we'll do it right here. That's going to be too far, isn't it? Oh, baby. No, it isn't. We're good. Toilet paper. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Oh no. This is about to get crazy. Get the TV. Oh, I thought they're going to go flying in there. Just got all people over there waiting. Oh boy. Oh no, they are fucking coming. They are now. 
Kiwi Kiwi! Monster Kiwi! Ah! Look, it's TV! Yay! Good, happy thoughts. Ah! You idiot! What are you doing? Bob. I feel like I've been here before. Oh, I see the hatchet. <gasps> Six. I'm coming, girl. Urgh. I'm gonna pull you out. No block. Gotta run. Ugh. What? What? Excuse me? Fuck you, dude. I couldn't. I go, couldn't go through the door. It wasn't broken enough. Another, br another. I've had so many glitches. Holy shit! I guess I was too close to the door or something. Yeah, this game's dope. It's just super glitchy. I wasn't sure if I needed the axe. See you later, loser. Sorry, six. Oh, God. like this angle. Oh, fuck me. That's some nightmare shit right there. Uh, oh my god. He's coming. Uh, 
for sure I've had some nightmares that went just like that. Oh, come on. Oh no. Oh god, it's these suitcases. Fuck! I did not see the suitcases there. Fuck. Don't grab the fucking chair, dude. Oh my God. God damn it, dude. Just had to grab that stupid, oh God. in the fuck, dude. He's like, no, you still die, stupid. God damn it, I keep running to this damn wall! Fucking hell. There we go. No, it wasn't the other way. It was the right way. It just didn't trigger. Ow. Died 76 times. Fuck. Real didn't need that death counter for this game. See you, Slender. Ow, me in pain. <gasps> Six. Come here, girl. <clears throat> Stop tiptoeing around. Ah, my aching back. Oh my God, too many stairs and too much, too, too long of a ladder. Mono, ouchie. Damn that lighting. Oh, 
Ah, oh, fuck. I think he's coming. Let's end this, Slendy. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Damn it, I don't need this police, this cop hat anymore. Fine. You want to die that badly? I'll show you what demon power is, Slender. Ah! I'm your god now. Again, come on! We can't end like this! No! No! Yes! Uh. Uh. This world would bend to my will. Just like the end of the first game, I become a god. I am a god child now. And I lost my hat. Wait. No, my hats are gone. I threw all of them away. Paled. Oh. We're back here now. Follow the music.
So you can see my shadow. Oh, that's kind of cool. This is super neat. Holy shit. Seriously, like, like the lighting in this game is insane. This part in particular is like, what the hell? It's just gorgeous. It's like a work of art. Oops. Holy shit! Big six! Gonna give her a toy.
be very angry. Oh, fuck. Give me a thing. Destroy the music. Taste the rainbow. Motherfucker. How many doors are to more stores are to smash open? What in the fuck was that? Oh, no, I see. I get it. Ow, what? This section's tough. I'm definitely getting that. Swing. Fuck. Shit. Fuck you, bitch. Damn it, I missed. Where'd my axe go? Oh, fuck, it's over there. Shit. Okay, now I, now I actually, I have to get the axe back now. Take it. Go in there, dude. Ow. Yeah. 
at it. Oh, her leg. So slow with the axe. <laughs> Fuck, dude, come on. He just gets caught up in shit. Oh, the movement is not good for shit like this. Where you like the timing is so tight. doesn't want to fucking Playing this game, huh? That was gonna come or smack her hands or some shit. She's like, Wah! Jets, if I tell you what. Hey girl, it's your boy, 
Armada. The ooze is coming. Uh, okay. Oh my god, eyes. The eye of Sauron is pissed. Oh my god. Well, I don't think the point was that she she just let him go. I think the point was that she was like, I can't pull you up, you know? Yeah, but I think she couldn't... I don't know if she could pull you up in time. I think that was the point. It was like, I... She will do it every other time, I know, but I think I wasn't sure she was able to. I don't know. Really? So she just just drops your ass? Really? I think that was it? Ugh. I'm in Sakathulu monster here. Is that a chair? Cool, I'm gonna sit here. I'm the king now. Pop a squat there, big guy. He's going to all the trouble to save her ass. got older like growing up into the to the tall dude
So did I just end up becoming him? Was that, does that mean the guy earlier was Meep too? Some like closed loop shit. in the room again. Yeah, sick hat. That was the final hat right there, guys. So then when, where did the child come from? Signal interruption was the name of this achievement. Hmm. Interesting. Is this a secret ending? That was, that was a, that was a wild ride. That was a wild ending too. It's like, he just gets, she seemingly just drops you, leaves you there. And then you grow up to become the guy you just destroyed, which seemingly creates like this loop. But then where would you have come from? There'd have to be a new version of you that'd have to destroy you again, supposedly. Unless you just simply replaced the guy who was there before you. Yeah, I'll check out the secret ending. Yeah, the game's the prequel to one. I kind of, I kind of figured, and that sort of explains then why she's by herself. I, that's why I actually thought if this game's a prequel, and it would explain too, because she, had, she clearly doesn't have her demon powers as she had at the end of the, at the first game. Otherwise, she'd be eviscerating everybody. Um, so if it's a prequel. I'm like, this thing is probably gonna happen to me. So she felt like you were destroying her blissful moment. She she was happier being back in her little room playing with her music box. And then you fucking saved her in the end. Pretty. That was really cool though. I actually I think I liked this one actually better than the first game. Um, though that said. This, this one was way buggier, like way buggier, but I, li I liked the set pieces. I liked the puzzles and the, the atmosphere. I think of this one a bit more than the first game, but this game was definitely a, a less polished game. The thin man also appears in the first game's DLC for a moment. Really interesting. Yeah, more difficult, but it, it felt like it just didn't feel quite as, like I said, polished in some areas. Like that one part with the lady with the long neck, that was a, that was a goofy ass section. He appears on TV. That's interesting. Probably cool to see like a lore video on this. Oh, I okay, can fast forward the credits. Really? Uh, no, I can't. I 
The body of a dead man you see at the start of the f of the first man hanging from the ceiling is most likely Mono's because of the chairs match. Really? Six survivor, she will have to look after herself. Yeah, she's vengeful, right? Six will always be a little nightmare. Yeah, it's kind of like the sad thing is that I, I, I'm not, you're not really sure if Six really cared about you that much. It was maybe just using you to get to where she needed to go. I'll, I think uh, Mono seemed like he cared about her and wanted to look after her. Really? Super horror, bro. They have a whole video explaining the lore in order, plus specific theories for Little Nightmares 2. Hmm. Damn, its credits are pretty long. Yeah, I cannot skip it, by the way. Hitting all the buttons, nothing's happening. Okay. I wouldn't mind looking into that. Makes more sense after the secret ending. Alright, let's see the secret ending first. I just gotta, I just gotta get... Just waiting for this to go. do it you're right i can go i have to i had to move the stick downward unusual way gotcha yeah poor mono he just wanted a pal they got fucked up F fucked over They finished the boss coffee? No, I still got plenty of it. I still got some from the last last one too, the vanilla one. It's good though. Very good. Damn, this is a, these are long credits. Holy shit, I was not expecting the credits to be this long. We're like listing out the entirety, like the entire sales group of fucking Bandai Namco. Here are the guys that made Dragon Ball Fighters and Super Smash Brothers. And here's also the Arc System guys and you know, let's just go and talk about fucking uh, EA as well. They're not even part of this game, but why not? Yeah, it is, it's it's real good, isn't it, Alex? Yeah, it's Alexander. It's, it is uh, some tasty stuff. I actually got the black coffee and it was uh, surprisingly good. Oh my God, dude, really? I just really did not think this would be this long. Uh, uh, holy shit, we're, we're talking every branch of Bandai Namco. <gasps> Bandai Namco Korea, Jesus Christ, you didn't think ba you didn't realize Bandai Namco was a massive company. Oh, here we go. I think we're at the end. Te Tekken? Yes, Tekken, Bandai Namco, those guys. There we go. Holy shit. All right. She was kind of curious to see. So, just that one, one hat at the end, huh? Yep. There were two more glitches there. One glitch in the this place. I actually got most of the glitches here. This area, I did not get many. I think that's because it's just because I didn't realize there were. This is a cool game, though. I really enjoyed that. I did. Again, it was very buggy, but um, still a lot of fun. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's have a look-see doodle. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba.
Secret ending. Whoops. Is this how she gets out? Maybe it's going to connect to the start of the first game. Yep. Crumbling. Hmm. Interesting. Hungry, true self. The shadow does show up in the first game. I don't remember. The poster glitch Six is pointing at is the ship where OG takes place. Oh, okay. So what was this this one uh, super horror, super horror bro, Little Nightmares Two? Story explain. Wow, it's thirty minutes long. Uh, I'd watch it, but I also don't want to know if I want to necessarily. It's like I'm. Hey guys. Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we venture into a living nightmare as we join two children fighting to survive a world full of monstrous dangers at every turn. I don't know. It's like, I don't know if it's alright to... I know, I know you can't see the video, but at the same time, I'm like, is it right for me to just, like, react to his, his hard-earned video here, like, and, like, have that here? <laughs> I don't know. I can't... I, that's the thing. It's like... Because then it's like, is there any reason to watch it? I, I, I don't know. Maybe someone can just give me the Cliff Notes version instead. I'm not like, it's not so much that I don't want to watch the video. It's that I don't want to be like the reaction channels where it's like, let me go ahead and just post my reaction to this guy's full video that he put a whole bunch of effort into, you know? Be one of those guys. I mean, here's the link. Here's the link to his video. It's got 1.5 million. Six could be the lady since Mono became the the thin man. That kind of makes sense, right? Like she ended up having powers that were similar to the lady, and then he and creates like a loop, and he gets power. He already had powers that were similar to the thin man. She lost her soul because of what happened, right? Six let go mostly because she saw, uh, she saw Mono either without his hat for the first time, realized that he has the same face as the thin man. The final chapter most likely takes place in Six's subconscious and the meat part is her stomach. Ugh. Mono is possibly is Dees is dead if beginning of one is anything to go by. Hmm. We've seen the video like three times. Yeah, so it was all because of the, the gnome hat. Huh. 
Interesting. Yeah, it seems to be... Uh, yeah, it sounds a lot of theory debate. I don't want to, like... I'll, I will watch it. I'll probably watch it maybe after this. Um, but I don't want to react to it because this is like... It's kind of like what happened... Remember, you guys remember before, right? When I watched that one guy's Kingdom Hearts video where he basically goes to the room and explains the entire story of Kingdom Hearts uh, Union Cross. Um, and I did... I had that and I put it on YouTube and afterwards the guy ended up actually reaching out to me very kindly just sort of was like, Hey, you know, so you react to my video and it's like, and I, I left links. I, you know, I, I credited him and stuff, but it was still like, I didn't blame for reaching out to me. And I felt bad because I honestly, I didn't say anything to him beforehand before I reacted to it. Um, and after that, I was like, I don't know if I want to ever do that again. So, um, yeah, I'm going to let you guys, I gave you guys the video. You guys can watch it in your time. Uh, I will check it out, but it sounds to me so like the idea potentially, and I actually like that idea, that theory that if is it's like this idea of this you know closed loop where of like this self fulfilling destiny where potentially Mono is the thin man, and then Six would end up becoming uh, the queen or whatever that he she ended up killing. I feel like that in some ways would make a lot of sense because she ends up killing her, and Mono ends up killing the thin man. And then becoming them. But then my question is, then how do they loop back around again? How do they, how does they, their younger selves come back to essentially create this loop, right? Like, where did Mono come from? Where did young Mono come from? They probably won't make a new Little Nightmares to ban I Namco owns the rights and they were bought out, I see. Hmm. Well, I mean, it was very cool. I, I think, like I said, I think I liked this one the best just from a lot of its, its puzzles, its variety, um, and li I, honestly, the lighting is it's weird. The lighting in this game is stupidly good. Like, certain sections were like, just the, the TV screens and everything. That last section, especially with the fucking purple and everything, just, it was just, like, so good. It was, like, just had this amazing atmosphere. Um... Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's actually, I, I, I guess there probably will be. There could be DLC for this. Actually, that's a good point. Maybe they'll fill in some of those blanks. Um, Six didn't drop just because they don't trust anymore. The Gaming Beaver explains that a lot of this in his video. Him and his super hero, hero, horror bros come up with great theories. Yeah, so like, I suppose it could be... Because like, it seemed like at the end that confirmed that she did not get her, quote unquote, her soul back, right? That shit got sucked out of her. And now she seemed to be empty at the end, right? And then we got the, it seemed like she was like hungry, which I think is sort of like when it, does she end up like basically eating people in the end, right? Like she gets like this insatiable hunger, just like the queen had, right? And then just goes on like a fucking rampage and just like eats everybody and by like, just like destroying them. Um, that's right. Eating the little gnome dudes. Yeah, right. Uh, so it's like, so it might be that it's like, it seems like this kind of like this whole game is this, like this continuous self-fulfilling prophecy where like the thin man ends up taking the soul from six and I think basically making her empty. She doesn't get it back. It seems like he seems like he saved her, but it didn't, but all it did was bring her body back, but her soul is still separated. Right. And the soul, but although the soul seemed to be like acting on its own, like, Hey, I'm right here. Go do this. You're hungry forever now. I'm not going to get back inside you. I guess we can't do that anymore. And then she goes to go fight the queen or something. I don't know. I really have to sit there and I definitely want to see some theories on this. I think that is what Mono was trying to do. He was trying to stop Six as the thin man, but couldn't stop his younger self from continuing the cycle. Hmm. So he's trying to like kill, Mo uh, kill Six at that moment. But then didn't he end up maybe just fulfilling the prophecy by making six into into the queen or something? Hmm. That's interesting. That's really cool. That's pretty neat. I uh because at the end of the first game, I was just kinda like like, oh, that was kind of cool, but I was like I didn't feel like it didn't give you enough to really go with a lot, you know, like to really piece together like what the fuck was happening. This one created a, a lot more stuff to it. Mm. Oh, by trapping her in the tower? Maybe.
I mean, some of, you are, some of you are saying, you know, because you destroyed her music box, she just doesn't trust you anymore. And now she's like, fuck you, right? Took me away from my happy place. But she seemed like she was fine. Like she went along with you, right? It wasn't like she it wasn't like she tried to stay there like all the time, even when you came in, right? It was like she he, you could have just said no and then maybe he would have left. But it wasn't like he, it wasn't like I picked her up yelling and screaming and went out the door. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I have to see what the... I never did see the DLC for this game either, so... The biggest way is that during the game, she's doing dark things like breaking mannequin fingers and uh, choking the bully to death. That's true. But although, to be fair, I'm kind of breaking dudes' heads open too, right? But it's like... I guess what we're seeing is sort of like a more sadistic side, right? We actually saw, she, we saw when we walked in, when we came back that one time, she's over there breaking the fingers of that one mannequin, just like for no reason, right? She's just sitting there just like fucking around with it. Yeah. So she, maybe she's, she's already kind of sadistic, right? It wasn't like she lost her, the, the loss of her soul had anything to do with it. I think the loss of her soul made her hungry. And I think that hunger and the hunger is what led to her like just being like i'm gonna consume everything right but that's only after beating the game i think i don't know uh she seemed to care about uh, for mono up until she was taken away she looked for help but mono was too scared and i think that's what made her do what she did i guess the thing is like she he ended up coming to help her in the end so she's just like it's like i'm just gonna drop your ass it wasn't like Manu didn't try to save her at any every point. He did. At every moment, he always tried to help her. I don't know. I don't know. I'll check out that video, though. I definitely, I am definitely uh, curious. It came out a week ago, and it's already got like a million and a half views. So, it clearly almost like, this is the shit to watch. Um, All right, guys. I think, uh, I think we're going to wrap things up here, though. Uh, based on what I just saw before the remnants of Manu's power left her... After she escaped, the distortion of her future self led her to the maw. Distortion of her future self? I thought it was, was, was her soul. <laughs> was that not a... Oh, uh, whatever. I'll, I'll have to fucking watch it. Uh, if there's going to be Little Nightmares 3 uh, in Little Nightmares 1, there are a bunch of TVs. So clearly, there was a portal to, for, to Mono. If Lady is 6, then it would be pretty interesting to see why she would risk them on, ha having them on the boat. Yeah. It would be interesting. Uh, dope. Cool. Yes, ending in a reasonable hour. That's the nice thing about uh, games that are relatively shorter and you can finish all in a single stream. But I'm glad I got to check that out and actually see it. Um, uh, Carrot execute the 100 bits. Since this game is a prequel, let me explain. When Six got to the Thin Man, her soul, the glitched version of Six, and the body split and never connected back after he returned to her to original form. That's why she didn't save Mono. She didn't have any feelings to him anymore. And also why the first game she's constantly hungry. Missing soul created need to feed constantly because she's literally empty. It's like, that's what I was thinking potentially. But I, we also see that she's a little sadistic even with when she still had her soul. So it's like, right? I don't know. Maybe that made her more sadistic, but it's like, it wasn't like she was like perfectly like content. She was, she was kind of doing some fucked up shit, right? I mean, to be granted, so was my character, right? Like I definitely killed a whole bunch of dudes in that game. I set some, helped set some guys on fire. We were kind of very similar in that way. Um, I don't know. Someone doesn't mull over. I'll definitely check out those videos, though. Um, but, uh, Picky Penguins, thank you so much for joining me, guys. It was a fun stream. Uh, I'm glad to see the sequel to this game. And uh, bugs aside, I did enjoy it. Um, but uh, I'll be back this week with some more uh, Amori, as well as Yakuza 3. Um, and uh, should... Uh, have some more fun with that. Sorry again for the sort of lack of consistency with this week. I know that last Yakuza 3 came kind of late. I just uh, I just couldn't get it finished in time. Um, please read your thing. What? There's nothing there. All right, guys. Uh, but 
I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you to everyone who subscribed, resubscribed, donated, and uh, gift subbed. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. And as always, piggy big ones. Till next time, guys. Stay classy. All right, guys. See you later. Have a good one. I'll see you all soon.